bad. They're the bad one. That's bad. This is bad. Well, I could cut it whenever. We'll just cut out those last three. Like, silent. Can we cut out those last three hours? And we'll just do another. Let's just do, do another one. Yeah. Do yeah, another yeah. one. Well, let's recreate all the feelings. <laughs> the exact. That we had. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, at this second mark, I mm -hmm. was feeling a little nauseated. Sure. Slight happiness. Mm -hmm. Basically, that range of emotions a baby's face makes when it passes gas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Mm -hmm. Without the teeth and everything. It is. It was weird when you were yeah. just gumming yeah. the air. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like at this point here, mm -hmm. I was curious, but also furious. Curious and furious. Ah. Like an, like an angry... They call that Furker. F furker? Yeah. He looked at her with Furker. Here. Furker. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a slur, doesn't it? It sounds like, like it something sounds... you really shouldn't <laughs> shout like... from a car. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, Like, furker? that sounds... Furker, how are you doing? <laughs> that sounds like... That is if... our word. <laughs> uh, I mean, that I... sounds like if I say it somewhere, I will be shot. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a game that sounds like a Victorian. Oh, like a like a Victorian <laughs> yeah. slang. Yeah. Because what does it sound closer to, fucker or uh, fervor? Fur coat. Or... <laughs> wait, wait. What was the second choice? Fervor. Oh, fervor. Yeah. Oh, Let me tell you right gonna... now. Because oh, I'm in a fervor today. Oh. oh, a fervor. Yeah. I heard f like. Yeah, I thought you said fervert. I heard fervert. Oh, like, fervert. Is, like that, a, is that a new? Is that? It's something that I'm uh, sure there is. It's. I think it's something that people who deride the furry community refer to. Fur really? Yeah. Are, there, are there people who? I just... thought furry was the name. Like I know a furry, a furry and a furry adjacent. But it's, I mean, like what's furry adjacent? We had this conversation. Yeah, it's, yeah, we had this. It's it's like turtles and stuff, right? No. It's yeah, but for when, this no, audience. No. No, it's not at all. Like it's it's when you're friends or allies to the furry community. I'm sorry. Yes, whatever you're into, valid, yeah. cool. As long as you're not hurting folks. I'm not an great. enemy. Mr. Berating, get berating a child <laughs> for like He's a discovering enemy. something about himself. You know I mean, when we say child. What's a child like? How old was he? Well, how old was he? He was. How old was this child you went to go see Zootopia with? <laughs> Which will be taken out of context. Like a child, really child, or... <laughs> like, no um, one will go back the past um, couple podcasts when you tell this story. When like a teen? Tell. Like a... Like a... Like so a there's late, mixed emotions. Late, late teens? How late teens? 16, 17? Now there's mixed emotions yeah. there. You don't know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just figuring it yeah, out, guys. Just figuring it you out. Guys, girls, or, 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 it's, or something. Or a tiger that, and uh, hot pants. God damn it. <laughs> Not anymore, I guess. I mean, well, now. Yeah. yeah. So it's, now it's, he's a fur hater. He's a oh wow. He's he's <laughs> a whatever fur eater. The, he's a fur eater. He's he's a fur phobic. Fur phobic. Yeah, that's what it is. He's, he's, I'm sure there's actual like real. He's got to open his pants. Man. Well, God, he's got to open his heart and legs. I gotta tell you. I do. You guys remember? Um, I I want to say right after you and I graduated high okay. school, and maybe when you were still finishing up high school okay the 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 fake tales i feel like that was a yeah we i think we've talked oh, about we this did. a lot yeah, yeah i yeah, used yeah. to mistake them for butt plugs i also Frankie always think... had one for a while and he put it on this camera and camera yes. company because he thought it looked cool he had no idea what it was actually about if we're until way later i mean if I mean, nobody here knows who that is, yeah. but so I... It's, I it's a say, friend of ours. It's he's got, with I him. mean, he's got a fair amount of fetish-adjacent material that I've seen. Yeah. Kind of... And good, cool. But the fur tail oh, yeah. is the yeah. anomaly. I recommend that some. material. <laughs> like... I like his little um, apparatus. That's neat. Oh, yeah. I know that he uses for the camera? No, it's not. For, I don't think it's for the camera. Yeah. I think it's just something he likes to have. No, I think he has, because he attaches that to the camera. Does he attach to the, yeah. oh. I thought that's it was so, just to, no. oh, okay. There, yeah. There's a medical reason why. He, 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 <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I looks, thought it was like a. No, man. But it looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah. I <laughs> thought it was like, I thought he was making a statement. Yeah. I thought he was doing like a. <laughs> well, unintentional. Uh, okay, okay, well, well. At the most unintentional statement. No, I thought, I thought that was like a, like an active fashion choice, but mm -hmm. okay. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, but yeah, hey, I feel hey. good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty good, like the hours before. See, I can already tell this one. Yeah, this is the one we're this, keeping. This is the <laughs> this is the one we're keeping. This one we're keeping. We just gotta restart every single. That's <laughs> all we get. One. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is. Are we at thirty yet? Are we at thirty? Yes. Is this thirty? This is thirty. This is thirty. Wow. We made it thirty. Which what is happened? the one you celebrate? Isn't it fifty? Isn't it fifty uh, celebrate? Fifty is a bigger 50 number. Fifty and hundred. Fifty and a hundred, because a hundred is syndicated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, fifty is a bigger number. You gotta like add more numbers. <laughs> I mean, thirty. Thirty is a nice round number. Thirty is a good number. Yeah. Thirty yeah. is when you gotta start thinking about fifty. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. It's where you gotta be like, oh, now I have to figure it out. When I'm yeah. like, now it's going to get or good. Or now I have to choose a path, whether <laughs> just which one do I like the most, not even if it's like perfect or anything. I feel like yours is a very specific <laughs> situation you're describing, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I won't have to deal with that problem. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what? That's uh, that's a problem for him yeah, to I figure out. I yeah, I can't relate. <laughs> um, so guys, yeah. it's number 30. Uh-huh. Okay. We think. We'll find out. Well, we'll you'll, find you'll, out. you'll correct us. You'll all correct I us. I'm sure. fucking free. I want to say it's dirty, man. <laughs> we really should look this up beforehand at some point. Like, well, and usually I'm always good about guessing whenever I write the title. So, you're you're usually like right on the money when you yeah. guess. Like, but I want to say it's dirty because when I wrote the wrote the title for the last one, I think I put twenty nine in there. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. cool. Dang. Mm. So guys, this is the thirtieth episode. I'm saying with confidence, thirty in. Nice. Um, we're not old yet, but we're like no one wants to deal with us. Like, no one's interested in what yeah. we've got going on no. quite yet. Especially yeah. at thirty. No, especially yeah. at thirty. Jesus. Thirty is like a young old. Thirty is like you aged, but you're not. Like yeah. you can't say you're old. I'm already thinking about thirty. 30. Is when you're yeah. trying to hold on to the people you already know without trying to change yourself as much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like... Well, also... Keep it all shallow. There's thir- no deep... Any deep relationship has been formed already. I... Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> I say... I say... I, I actually... Totally to your point. Yeah. 30, I feel like... I'm not looking to make new friends at 30. No. I it's feel like... Thing. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. Look, if you... If it's you, all about flings, man. Friendship flings. Friendship flings. <laughs> Fling and dump? Just a casual, casual, no, like... you just don't text it. You, just, you, you took me to the movies seven or eight times? And maybe, if you, maybe if you have a barbecue, like... Sure. Invite him to a barbecue. Yeah. Catch up thing. So I guess more passive than fling. You no, know, it's crazy. I'm trying to arrange a barbecue right now. Because I've never thrown a barbecue. Have you? And that's weird. Yeah, because, like, me and uh, two of our mutual friends really like cooking. Okay. Or at least, uh, at least, one of them has recipes. I don't know if I've ever seen him grill. Yeah. Um, the other, I know for sure, I've grilled with him. Mm. Mm. Just because we like cooking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've never done that. I've never. <laughs> I feel like I've had barbecue at your home. Well, I, we've I guess had barbecue, not had a but not cookout. Not had a yeah, yeah. The thing where people bring shit. Like oh, you're talking about a potluck, like a big, like yeah. A big... I guess uh, I guess yeah. What the a backyard barbecue now? Yeah. Isn't that, it's technically a potluck? I mean, yeah, it's just a potluck where also the implication is, I'm also going to cook while you're here. Yeah. I'll bring the meats, people bring sides, and, maybe, and vegetarian so, maybe a vegetarian option. Sure. Um, your slaws, your potatoes, yeah. your et cetera, et cetera. The, the sweet potato, like... The uh, casserole thing? Yeah. But that's just, just mush? It's mush, it's sweet, sweet. mush with yeah. hot, crispy... You uh, like sweet potatoes? I don't like them like that. Yeah. Do you like sweet potatoes, Nick? Yeah, I like sweet potatoes. Am I like one of the few people that's not crazy about them? I, I, yeah. but I, I feel very. I think I mean, so, right? you, <laughs> see, here's the thing: is uh, do you eat sweet potato fries? Uh, sometimes I guess yeah. I don't order them, but I don't mind having them. Okay. See, I'd much rather have regular fries. I would never go out of my way for pa- sweet potato fries. I have fries. a passive fling with uh, sweet potatoes. It's passively, you'll have it, but you'll never call back. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'll eat it if it's like if it's there. If it engages with me, yeah. If, be, it, um, if it initiates. If it shows itself, if it jumps into my mouth. Listen, it's just a fling. That's my way. <laughs> this means nothing, sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah. You're never going to take russet's What's place. What's your preferred fry? Eating some suicidal fries. Because the easiest answer is for McDonald's. us to all say peace. 
I was gonna say Pete's. Oh shit! I was just because we that. eat that shit like pigs out of a box. So I was <laughs> I was just thinking like what is accessible to me generally, but of yeah. all fries, probably. But if Pete's. you wanted, if you wanted any fry, if you could cook a fry exactly how you would want it, what would it be? Pete's. Pete's. Yeah. See, I think so, but there's also I love fries, like steak fries that were fried in peanut oil. That mm. shit's great. There's something about the peanut oil that I think works really well. I would still pour paprika on that shit. Yes. Uh, garlic little, salt. A little, little, little bit of garlic salt and sea salt, just because I tend to like sea salt. You like the, 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 it gives you a nice texture. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's got to be a light mix of each, because you don't want any of them overpowering. Actually, because paprika is going to take over like most of it. So, let's discount. See, I cook. People don't think I cook. <laughs> To discount Pete's, though, what is the fast food fry you choose, guys? At a, uh, not, that's not Pete's? Not, that's not Pete's. Uh, I like the curly fries from Jack in the Box. That's solid. That's good I, don't, I like Burger King fries, but they gotta be, like, super hot. Yeah. Like, almost burning my mouth. Yeah. Because okay. then they have a nice, like, a little crunch shell to them. Nick, hold your thought about the perfect fry, because I have to add. Uh, did you see... Did oh, you waffle see- fries are fun. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Did you see um, McDon- uh, uh, not McDonald's, uh, Burger King is making not Happy Meals that they were selling to no. people? It's very weird. What is it? Unhappy? Unhappy. Well, no. Like, spitting your food. Sad right? meals? One is, yeah, one is called a fucking frowny meal. One is called an <laughs> angry meal. One is called a salty meal. Oh, and, wow. I, and if you collect all of them, they make the seal, the key of time. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You become a sailor. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. It was really weird. Uh, but and each of the boxes are like decorated differently, and I guess each one is like a specific um, combination that you're gonna yeah. get potentially with a toy. <laughs> uh, which I don't know what like an angry toy. Yeah, is. what's an angry toy? Um, champagne poppers. Those are. <laughs> <laughs> bah! It's done now. It's done. Oh. Uh, and they're not the fun funnel ones. Oh no! Which are way better because you can hold them better. Mm-hmm. Uh, These are the ones that are gonna probably singe your tips or your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's gunpowder. Mm-hmm. Comes out. It smells. It smells sulfurous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's weird. Um. Yeah. So probably. Let's say Jack Daniels curly. Jack Daniels. Girl. Jack Daniels. Who's Jack Daniels? Jack You're fucking monster. <laughs> oh, if they made fries, I would avoid them. Oh, man. Speaking of weird food <laughs> shit, did you see that? See a new KFC sandwich? Mm-hmm. Want the Cheetos in it? I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen the commercial yet. I can't bring myself to launch it because then it's real. I, then... I, don't you feel like KFC just continues to say to itself, how do we punish these people? <laughs> How do we punish Chinese people? You know what? <laughs> Why? You know what sucks? I know where there's a KFC next to us. I never go to it because I've had Popeyes and I like Popeyes like a million times more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like in 98, I saw MC Hammer dance for Popeyes popcorn chicken. Mm-hmm. I was like, I want, I want some of that. Sure. Sure. Where's that KFC? No, you know what KFC? That's why I never went there. I... <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, there was like a big fuss about. I don't know if I've mentioned this on the show. You remember Macy Gray got got like booed because she did a she did a, a KFC commercial for the wraps they did. Oh, no. I thought you can say it was because Jerry Rice had a rotating piece of chicken in his football helmet. That was that. I mean, yeah. it should have been should have been what America was upset about most. Yeah, but he yeah. should if he had danced as good as MC Hammer did. Maybe we would be eating that instead. Yeah. Maybe we would all have helmets. Yeah. Hang on, I'm pulling, <laughs> I'm pulling something up because I want to get this right. What's your so? What's your uh, preferred fry? Since we're right? talking about preferred KFC, fry? um, you know, yeah, probably something. I like. I always enjoy the texture of like waffle fries because mm. in my head as a kid, it was always just oh look more fry. Look, it's a big ass you know, fry. It was, yeah, yeah. Right. You know the kid thing of like oh, you see it. You know what are good fries? What? Cottage fries at Pylons. But I thought we were only doing. No, fast food. We're doing no, fast agree. food. I just wanted the honorable can... mention. And you can't, you okay. can't pick a burned down place. <laughs> yeah. Cottage fries. If, any, back. if anyone had them, they're very good honorable mentions. They're solid. They're not. They're, you can't rank them. Because you, you just pan fry. Them. You just appreciate them. Everyone's appreciating them. Yeah. They're, they're house fries. Yeah. Yeah. Is what they are. There's guaranteed satisfaction. Okay. Okay. So like since Popeyes. we're talking about KFC. Okay. Um, 
I know you don't care anything about uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Couldn't give a shit. Which is the uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I have the picture. Oh, uh, yeah, I already got it. That's what I was doing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but you know what an MMO is, right? Like, I'm aware. Right? Okay, okay. Do you know what a mount is? A mount? Like, yeah. a, it's an animal that it's you It's a horsey ride. thing, right? Yeah. yeah, well, just any animal or vehicle Chocobo you ride, is basically. A, is a mount yeah, so. There. Yeah. Um, so, there are always, like, bonuses to pre-order stuff, usually in North America. Okay. They're always part of, like, maybe you buy it at Amazon, or you order something uh, from Target, mm. or Best Buy, or some shit. Mm. Or you get a cup of noodle, and sometimes they have <laughs> DLC on there. Sure. That one's real. Um, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. I have a, I have a cup of noodle in my cabinet uh, that has cloud on it. <laughs> so... You also get one with Lightning. Yeah. Or yeah, Jump yeah. Force with Goku, Naruto, and uh, Luffy. Oh, yeah. Lightning the the substance or Lightning the Owen Wilson Zakar? Lightning the close. Lightning the character from FF13. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the creator had a huge fetish for her. It's so. Well, it's so. He wasn't attracted. It's so blatant. Like, it's crazy. He Something would, I gotta show you, like, all the footage oh, like, yeah. of that shit. Um. It's so fucking weird. Anyway, uh, s- that shit doesn't go. That shit doesn't fly over in other countries. Okay. So they do it different ways. Where you get it at like a KFC, for instance. So China, mm-hmm. China mm-hmm. had a KFC thing where you had to order something, and then you would get a fat uh, black chocobo mount. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. If anyone, if anyone's looking, at literally just look up fat black uh, the. Uh, black chocobo mount for FF14. Wait, that's a big ass chocobo. That's a cake you're holding in front of it so it can fly. Why does it? Why this seems like chubbier than the other ones? Yeah, it's because well, it's, it's a fat chocobo. And <laughs> uh, if Scott Steiner would yeah. like to say, it's fat. And to be fair, they put a lalafell on the back, which are the potato people that uh, <laughs> <laughs> ruined the land. Because it's a big boy um, with a small heart. So what do you think you have to order? In order uh, to get this chocobo mount, this one mount, this one thing, is it cake? No, because the cake. I uh, chicken. No, I'll give you one more guess. Make it as ridiculous as you can think. Jesus Christ! Uh, fucking eat, not do. Uh, a, a a a a bowl, a bowl. What are those, <laughs> the KFC what are those bowls? bowls? <laughs> a giant bowl. Oh man. Okay. Mm. So what you have to order mm-hmm. is you have to eat. A family meal. Uh, uh, you order a family meal, which is one double chicken burger, one vegan mushroom burger, where they have like those giant shiitake mushrooms for buns, mm-hmm. uh, one five piece chicken nugget, uh, two original recipe chicken, one two piece New Orleans uh, chicken wings, one old Beijing spicy duck roll, China only, two large Pepsis, two large P2 long teas. Wait. There, there can't be a stipulation that says you have to eat it all by yourself. That's right. <laughs> so here's where the story gets crazier, man. Okay. That's just for one person. Uh-huh. Uh, you have to order... That's only the first part. You have to order four of those. Four iterations of four that? Four iterations of that. So that what I just read to you times four. To, to, to just to get some so fucking that's four, pretend bird? So that's four <laughs> double chicken burgers, four <laughs> vegan mushroom burgers... Sure me. Four five-piece chicken nuggets, which is 20 of them. Uh, eight original recipe uh, chickens. Uh, four two-piece New Orleans chicken wings. Four old Beijing spicy duck rolls. Eight Pepsis, large. And eight large oolong peach teas. So here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, and, and oh, okay, go ahead. Because uh, uh, there's more. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay, you all you have to eat that inside the store. You're not allowed to take it out. How, how can, is that enforceable? How is <laughs> how? So, and you can have four people, uh, up to four people do it. And oh, it's the whole thing. Okay. And they serve the LT. I wonder if I can get the picture where it looks like on it. So that's what this is. What it all looks like. Uh, again, this doesn't play well for audio, but seriously, look that up. It's on a piece. It's a here. disgusting amount of fucking look food. That, you can that, picture it in your head. Yeah, it's that. a fucking <laughs> ghoulish <laughs> amount. It all has to be eaten in that yeah. sitting. <laughs> So here, here, 
Yeah. I mean, before you... I'll describe to you what they're doing, but, like, go, go, wait. Please I don't. I want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> well, so what I'm thinking is, first of... The first thought I had is... you get a fucking... And you get one. Yeah, you get one. You get one. For if all you that. eat it all. So what I thought so immediately you have to is... Come back but, yeah, my ideal fry is a uh, waffle fry. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I know how much a bucket of, of fried chicken costs. Yeah. Okay, so it's mm-hmm. like almost 30 bucks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like solid yeah. twenty five something bucks, and that doesn't even have sides. I don't think. Yeah. So in my head, I'm now thinking: Are you going to? Is this mathematically? Are you not ultimately paying more than the fucking game cost just to add? Probably. The I don't know how the money thing works. Yeah, I don't. Because know, I don't no one lists any prices. But it's like that to me. The first thought I thought I thought was, yeah. well, this is economically unreasonable. Mm-hmm. The second thing I thought was, what the fuck does it matter if I pe- <laughs> if I'm if I'm let's consider me a fucking idiot. Yeah. Let's imagine, and let's pretend. Let's pretend. <laughs> and I walked in, yeah. and said, "Give me all this ungodly food." Uh-huh. What the fuck do they care if I do? If I throw that <laughs> I shit in the fucking trash, I'm mad now. I'm mad again. Know, Why right? do they want you to eat it? I fucking no. Isn't that's the enough? psychotic part, right? Like, I am so angry yeah, about like, it. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy amount of food. In theory, though, I can order that and just have a party or like uh, yeah. go, go to a land party. Look here, we have a shit ton of food because I wanted a bird. Or like, or hey hey. You know what would be great? Let's shame Square Enix. Let's order all of that. And then say, oh, I have actually brought some homeless people who would really enjoy some food. Oh, I brought five, though. I guess you're going to say no to all of these hungry homeless people. Well, well, I'm not the one. So what they're doing, that picture I showed you, uh, do you know what a raid is? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a raid in real life, is what this is. Oh God! Yeah, that's what. It's the only thing I think of. The the <laughs> picture I showed you has the same text they use for raids for bosses. That's and really team. fucking sad. It's super messed. Up. It that's probably says like KFC Extreme or something. This is chi- like this is China, China not this Japan. This is China. It's China, not Japan. Okay, so okay. Oh, I stand by the the next thought I had, which is, this is just going to be punishing on the average person's body there. Mm-hmm. Like, like they're not Americans. They're not used to <laughs> shoveling garbage in their face yeah. like this. Yeah. Mm. Apparently, it's the Pepsi that does everyone in. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like because they don't drink. Like that's Coke. not a popular Coke thing. Is Pepsi Cola is yeah. not big. Yeah, it's. I don't think so. If I remember correctly, like sodas never play well, too well. Also, like pe- like fruit flavored whatever is always more popular in Asia generally. Mm-hmm. Generally speaking. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know until I started watching, like, a random ge- Japanese game show where one of the punishments is that they have to drink a can of A&W root beer. Really? That's their yeah. punishment. And that sounds they, delightful. And when they drink it, they, like, start gagging. They, like, yeah. want to, uh, like, they're about it's to gag. It's so the opposite of what, like, of the usual Japanese palate is used to. It's the, it's the sweetness of it? Yeah. it? The intensity, the carbonation, the sweetness... Oh, yeah. The sa- uh, sarsaparilla. Oh, that the sarsaparilla. <laughs> yeah. They would the much. Shashparilla. They would much rather eat that scorpion or tarantula yeah. than drink A and W. It's just different cultures, man. Bite these five scorpions' heads off, or yeah, have can. this mug. <laughs> so, Is uh, mug root beer a thing? Or eh, yeah, mugs yeah. root beer. Yeah, yeah, it's still okay. a thing. It's, I'm still, it's still a thing. Yeah. Okay. Like peanut I, it takes a lot for me to like a root beer. What's your preferred root beer? Uh, if I'm just going, like, I can buy it any time. Mm-hmm. Um, Virgil's, probably. That's the one in the glass? Yeah, the other one's in a bottle. The glass bottle. The, although, when I used to work in my old job, um, I would buy real root beer. Mm. Uh, over so often. That one's my favorite. Mm. I love that shit. Because um, it's just, like, wild honey. Pretty much the entire taste. So then people were, like, a bunch of, like... Just writing how they take off, how they take down the challenge in uh, raid terms, which won't really matter to you. The jokes are lost. Uh, the one I will say is this guy. Yes. He was trying it and uh, just wrote, I went to the toilet. They took away my meal and gave me a new one. Those <laughs> sick bitches! Those sick... That's, wow. That's also... 
How is that economic? Again, how is that economically viable? How are they done? Well, now Dude, you know the struggle. Dude, it's so, it's so, it's so fucking crazy. Like, I, I, <laughs> that's, that's so much food. It's so much. Because at that point, I'm going to say, I'm going to see two sandwiches and I go, I'm done already. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I'm an adult person. I, yeah. let's say on my hungriest, mm-hmm. let's say I just. If I eat two sandwiches of anything, that's me going, I'm indulging. I need to cut down. Like, sure. Okay. How many pieces of a fried, of a fried chicken could you oh, do? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Like four, maybe. Um, you well, know what? I don't eat fried chicken often enough to know. And when I do, it's usually a special occasion, so they're like the big ass yeah, pieces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I feel Get like. home cooking shit, do you know what I mean? Do you pan fry? Do you deep fry at home? Um, I never cook. Oh, I have Because I'm too scared to set my stove on fire. I pan fry, but it is a mess to pick up. Yeah, it's that's why I, I never... Beast. That's too much for me. It's a beast. Because you got like, have the stations. Anyway, uh, I could probably do, like, up to... If I'm, like, hungry out of my mind, uh-huh. and maybe I've just had a jazz cigarette... Um, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, why? You know, I've I've just enjoyed some. No, cold why do you porter. call it a jazz? No, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that term in a while. It wasn't on. TV. Yeah, old man, talk about you eat fried chicken. And <laughs> I'm almost <laughs> thirty. Eat your eat your big ass drumsticks while you smoke opioid. One. That's why you're getting so defensive on bringing up. Yeah. <laughs> How are those opioid chambers? I don't know. You know when I when I when I tried the poppy the first time. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'll the, tell the, you the what. The devil's grass. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. So how much? How much? How much? Chicken? It's maybe six pieces too. Sounds like a lot. But stick? even or like of breast? No, like because I, I do think not. I could finish a bucket at yeah. KFC. Although the problem, my problem with KFC stuff is uh is um dripping the bread. No, the breading on the fried chicken it is way too salty s- for me. Yeah, that it's way too salty. Like it, it makes. And for me, the potato wedges are, like, good, but they're not seasoned. Yeah. They don't taste like anything. Yeah. They're just potatoes. I'll eat their mushrooms mm. for... Oh, the mushrooms. They're uh, mashed potatoes for days. Sure, the mashed potatoes, creamy, creamy, creamy. Yeah. Uh, Those fake mashed potatoes I love. I can't get it out. Oh, it's that dry mix shit. Yeah. It's just it's milk powder. and powder. Yeah. And concrete. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then also... You put like, the gravy in there. You <laughs> stir it up so there's bits of gravy in every single scoop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did that. I did that with melted butter and gravy. Also, you uh, like whip, 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 whip. Oh, butter's no, because the butter thing I always put into the mashed potatoes when I cook it. In the way. I mean, you can put it when you cook it. Put a little, no, little, no, little, no. little, little extra off the top. I don't like it that buttery. Actually, oh, okay. Like, I like the chunk, man. I like the. I like even if there's potato skin in that shit. Uh-huh. No, I love. Have you ever had red potato mashed potatoes? Yeah, that's like a russet potato. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's a good time. Yeah, I'm just talking about food. I don't know why we're talking about it. I'm having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I'm fur ally or fur enemy. <laughs> yeah, you six. Uh, you neutral? Some, yeah, I'm pretty neutral. You're fur neutral. Yeah. Like if you. If but you, that I mean, if they like waffle fries, I mean, mm-hmm. that'd be cool. Like if you met like a a very precocious <laughs> wolf, let's say. Yeah. Who was like. Nice abs. Spencer ab. Nick over here. He has nice abs. You know what? Contributing two nothing. Thi- two things <laughs> I like. <laughs> Yiffing. And so, it's more of a hot take if I enjoyed the short, the tight pants on the tires or... I don't know if it's a t- hot take yeah, anymore. I, as think we've... Re- I think you're using hot take wrong. That's not how a hot take works. <laughs> well, what uh, if I just felt it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Like, if, like, something just awoken in you? In, in my pants, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, you saw it and you were like, no, I get it. Well, then you found, you've discovered something about you've, yourself. You've really learned something about you. I, every time I, uh, I think about, uh, community, uh-huh. I think about the pilot episode where the, the, I forget the, the actor who's an Academy Award winning writer, mm-hmm. uh, Jim, uh, the, the Dean. Yeah. Where he... Has to wear a Dalmatian costume for a reason that's not yeah. important. Dan Herman says so. And he literally just looks at himself in the mirror and says, I just hope this doesn't <laughs> awaken <laughs> something in me. <laughs> I fucking love that one. It's so, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, food. Uh, yeah. Food. Food. yeah. Food. Yes. All right, should we finally go into our months? Yeah, I guess. All right. All right, who wants to go first? 
I went to KFC. <laughs> KFC. No, <laughs> when was the last time you went to KFC? Because I haven't been to KFC in like. Dude, it's, 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 yeah, dude. I it's, ordered it's it in a decade. Did you? Really? How'd that go? Did you get a sandwich? No, I got a I got a classic. I got a I got uh, an eight piece. I got a I got a uh, side. Okay, okay. I got a, but I was sharing it with other people. Oh, okay. That's and cool. even then I already felt Yeah. Two pieces it's in. So much salt, dude. Yeah, I already felt like you've done you feel too that much. clogging and shit, like And what's You gotta what? do the Cheeto sandwich. Yeah. I don't want it. You're the only one. What's they the use Cheeto sandwich? dust. That sounds so vulgar. So I think what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's a KFC chicken sandwich, and they uh, stuff Cheeto and Cheeto dust in it. They grind and the up chicken. No, they grind no, up no, chicken. They, they they grind up Cheetos, and they use it to bread the, the chicken. fried chicken. Oh, why? I think you can you order a KFC double down with? <laughs> Man, remember when double down was invented? Yeah, and we all knew it was yeah. wrong. We, <laughs> we all knew it was bad for us, and we yeah. just kept letting it happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all said, well, yeah. I guess, you know it, what? Yeah, it is what it is. America, see something, say something. <laughs> look, look. Don't let him push you around. Don't let him, don't let him tell you what to do. You yeah. knew it was bad. You should have said something. Yeah, it's very brave of you to speak up. Yeah, for, <laughs> finally. For Cheetos, but if Yeah. <laughs> so, Nick, how's your month? Um, has it been, has it been a month? I don't fuck. I mean, it might, might as well have. Okay. It might as well have. What for, for what all happened, the listeners? What happened since, since the last, last time you were on the podcast? Well, I mean, uh, I guess to connect to the last podcast, when I finished um, Katana Zero and... Um, oh, that's I right. Think. How did that... I'm just going to see if I can keep the tone. Mm-hmm. My friend Pedro. I mean, those... Mm-hmm. Oh, those really, tell me about that. I want to hear about it. Yeah, those, are really, those are really good games. Uh, very different tones, but really good very games. Very different. Yeah, <laughs> very fucking different. It um, couldn't be more different. <laughs> yeah. Look, if you're doubting it, fucking think again. Think yeah. again, because it's different. How different? Super different. What, why well, See, why, don't you adjective, you why don't you characterize adjective. how different it is? Uh, I mean, because, like, it... I mean, besides gameplay, there's the whole thing of, like, where Pedro is more, um... It's more stylized. And, like, there's a lot more things to do with your hands. Like, actually, in right. the game. Like, no, you actually cannot get those Tekken have the fingers. No- yeah, you actually have Tekken fingers. You can't have just uh, your index fingers on the triggers yeah. or bumpers. Right. You have to have both fingers on each button. And you also have to have your hand. I have to, I have, to have my hands on, like, three fingers on the buttons at the same time. Mm, mm. On, like, the... <clears throat> Tekken fingers, dude. Yeah. It, I mean, it, sometimes it gets intense and, like, I have to adjust. But when grass. you pull it off, you look great, and it's like DMC. It's like Devil May Cry. When you pull it off, you feel great, and yeah. it looks great too. Yeah. And that's that's thankfully mm-hmm. very rewarding. Man, they really backhand you when you when you get it though. Like when you get the high ranks, yeah, with that stupid freaking whistle and like, it, oh god, it's great. But I can't say anything <laughs> yeah. about um, I can't say anything about Katana Zero because it's a very um, visceral like reactive game. Sure. And it definitely relies on you not knowing what happens next mm-hmm. for its, like, drama. Yeah, mm-hmm. so far the story's great. Oh, yeah. Um, I would say that the, the after story stuff you can do in it um, was really good. Mm-hmm. It's mostly, like, uh, getting uh, at a certain score or, like, doing, or, you know, doing the dialogue trees a different way. Okay. To get, like, different rewards. And there's rewards. a lot of paths. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting because, like, there are a lot of paths, but they're not as important as I thought they would be, those okay. different paths. Okay. So it's like one or two out of the six options that are <clears throat> yeah. that are actually important or can change it. Sure. But, I mean, besides that, yeah, those those are great games. I really like the Volvo Digital coming out with, like, these um, these more, like, uh, game, these more, like, uh, drama-focused games so far. Mm-hmm. You know, because we saw with, like, Red Strings Club and uh, stuff like that. And, and Talos Principle as well. I thought it was yeah. really cool. Yeah. Mm. But that's tough to say because then, as of this recording, um, next week, uh, Metal Wolf Chaos XD, know, yeah. most American game ever made, is going to come I out. I thought about they were asking, they had one of their people being like, Influencers, who wants oh, God. review copies? And I was like, we have like 18 subscribers, is that enough for me to get a review copy? Are we influencing? I don't know if I'm influencing. Does anyone buy anything because I say <laughs> <laughs> Just say yeah. yes. Just say yeah. <laughs> We're, if, if, <laughs> we're gonna check that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, uh, either way, I'm gonna play it. Like, there's no, I'm not, I'm not gonna not play it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't fucking wait. I've thought about streaming it. I mean, I imagine streaming it on Fourth of July would be cool. Yeah, but I'm not gonna wait a whole fucking year to play it. No, I mean in general. Damn, I just yeah. meant in general. Well, every like, Fourth of July, I just play a mission. Yeah. Give it a little fun thing. Yeah. Well, mm. cool, <laughs> cool, yeah. cool, cool. When Devolver. your dog's not like fucking oh. freaking out or something. Wait, really? No, when the dog, whenever anyone has who has a dog, like they freak out. On the Fourth of July. July. Yeah. Oh, Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Are they met my little chaos? They freak out. Oh no. Maybe they would. <laughs> they would. Yeah. You ever just sat a dog in front of a computer <laughs> screen and had the flashing lights go on? <laughs> you know? Yeah. You ever subjugate him to the Ludovico process and see what happens? <laughs> you know, have you ever tried to teach your dog an aversion to pain? To, uh... <laughs> yeah, toughen him up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if not about... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, besides, besides those games, um, I got back into No Man's Sky since I last played it in 2016. Mm-hmm. So it's been uh, like three years. How's that revision? How's that re- revisiting it? Oh yeah, revisiting. I mean, with the game being what they actually promised in 2016, um, that game's actually great. Wow, it's actually really fun to play. I haven't played it with other people because other people can join you when you explore planets. Mm. But um, no, I mean, No Man's Sky. It's so unfortunate, dude, because like Sony really pushed them out of the gate. Like, yeah, and oversold that because they didn't want to do any of that. Yeah. The way marketing was handled and all that. Oh, that's true. It's yeah, true. that was super out of their hands. That was all Sony. It's incredibly unfortunate, but yeah, uh, yeah, the game's like completely different. Now. I I remember mm-hmm. how aggressively that game was marketed. As yeah, well. like, like because I was seeing it was re- crazy. It was it was like, it was them going the future. Like yeah. basically, whenever that game came out, because what they were promising was honestly something yeah. that we couldn't even imagine. Mm-hmm. Something that you're little ape brain could not <laughs> calculate. Yeah. Uh, like David Cage. Exactly. Like Detroit Becomes Human. God damn it. Detroit Becomes yeah. Human? Detroit Becomes Human. Detroit the city becomes human? I thought, isn't that what it's called? No, it's Detroit Becomes Human. Detroit But become... like, that sounds like a way better game where the city of Detroit becomes a human. I played Detroit Becomes Human. Oh, it becomes a person. Yeah. Yeah. Detroit becomes becomes a literal like oh like Robocop. Thirty two year old woman just really really having a rough go, but she's ready for something new. <laughs> you know? Didn't they ever do a female Robocop? But that was like a whole thing did, in the comics. Did they? I don't know. I don't read the Robocop comics. Oh. I, guess. I believe you. Yeah, I'm talking to myself, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. No one cares. But like I mean, yeah, it was cool revisiting it. It's it's just really I mean it was definitely kind of refreshing to go back to those kind of exploring games instead of the very mm-hmm. um, story driven stuff yeah. Um, but yeah I guess that's all I can really say because I only got like an hour or two in but already like huge improvements yeah. mm-hmm. and stuff like you can customize nearly everything you can make your own base now oh wow yeah you mm-hmm. actually um, you do that by making base computers and, that, and if you put a signal booster or like if you build one um, people can join you because they like can catch your signal Oh, wow. In the planets, yeah. Yeah, there's some really interesting stuff. Also, um, it's now more important to collect um, those stones that reveal, uh, that translate certain languages so you mm-hmm. can sell stuff better. <clears throat> like aliens, merchants. Uh, that's really cool, man. Does No Man's Sky kind of have any of the... Um, are all aliens animalistic? Or are there any alien species that are like... I think they're, I think they're more like reptilian they're going for. Okay. They went for like a more reptilian, kind of like um, uh, Star Trek. I guess like a. If anyone watched it, Stargate. Do you remember what they look like? Star- they're going for that. Remember okay. Stargate? You guys remember Stargate? Remember that one movie or the kids' version the of Stargate? Stargate for kids. City of Atlantis. Yes, that's Lost, true. Lost City of Atlantis. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually don't know. Yeah. Uh, there's. <laughs> I barely know Stargate. Yeah. There was like downlines. my favorite is. Oh sorry. Good. Well, I was gonna say there's my one of my favorite species. It's just. Do you remember from Futurama when, like, the nanobots uh, Professor made just became, like, beans of essence? Yes. There's one species that's just that, and you can be them. Cool. It's just a floating ball. That's but, pretty rad. <laughs> yeah. And they have, like, these crazy, like, headphone-looking machinery, like, ra- like, like, and on their axis, like, flying around. Do you, it's pretty crazy. Do you remember early on in Futurama, they had another joke about energy creatures where... Uh, Leela is dating again. Oh, yeah. And she says, like, 
I'm sorry, I'm just kind of looking for a guy who has a body. <laughs> well, <laughs> will you finally evolve past the need for a physical <laughs> form? <laughs> I hope you call me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, those, I mean, it'll be that. Um, I mean, what other ones? There's, uh, uh, yeah, I guess game-wise that would be it. Okay. But I'm thinking, well, I mean, Samurai Showdown came came out. Yeah, Samurai Showdown is fucking talking. rad. There it is. <laughs> so cool. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah. It's everything I like. Okay, so. So, I, was, I just need to say this because I was talking to someone about Samurai Showdown actually yeah. today. Um, and I think I finally got it. But mm-hmm. Samurai Showdown is an easy way to get to show people. Or to give people to a gleam of what the high level uh, thoughts are going on in fighting games, mm. and that it's straight up a chess match, mm. mm-hmm. and you have like chess. Even though uh, there's going to be a difference here, chess you have a certain amount of mistakes you can make against your opponent before you lose, sure. or they only have a certain amount of mistakes against you before they lose, uh, and you're trying to just minimize all that while also outsmarting them. It's the same thing with like poker and all that. You're trying to read your opponent. Mm. basically yeah uh it's rock paper scissors but a little bit more complicated um it's a lot of things and then it's not those. It, it's weird but that's an easy way to kind of show it and i think samurai shown has the fastest way for someone to get there mm-hmm. because the moves it's very old school there's uh, not too many moves per character uh each move is amazing and or has a lot of repercussions mm. uh and it's straight up if you made a mistake half your health bar is gone yeah you fucked up. This you better you eat shit now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you only get so many mistakes. You can do crazy amounts of damage. You can do like ninety percent combos mm-hmm. and all that with only like three different hits. Um, so that it's the fastest way to get there. It's incredibly hard to master because mm-hmm. uh, now then it becomes matchups and then straight up how well can you read your opponent? Okay. So it's that. Whereas like some games you can make a bunch of mistakes and still be good. Um, unless it's Marvel, you make one mistake and you get an infinite on you. Mm-hmm. Um, Samurai Showdown, maybe two or three. Okay. Two or three. Especially at that. It's awesome. I fucking love it. I love I love <laughs> that. I love that just trying to figure out your opponent and what you think you're really going to do. Okay. And like each shit. There's no... The less, less room for doubt of, like, I pressed the wrong button at this time. Right, right, right. Love that shit. I fucking love it. Samurai Showdown's rad. Mm-hmm. It's rad. Well, I mean, I haven't played as, as much as you, um, uh, even though I bought a copy. But yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Um, but I will say, like, I I do like. Um, I mean, I can't say all, any of the characters are like boring or just not interesting. No, everyone's cool. Yeah, everyone has their own thing going on. It's a very it's a very small roster, but I think it's very uh, it's very tight. I think I, I think it's a good amount, especially for a reboot. Well, I mean, I would say. Well, yeah, it's true. We're not we're not at the. Because whenever I think of when I compare rosters, I always immediately jump to um, like MVC two or wow Armageddon. no yeah that that's the that's the that my I'm brain s- uses that for like that's the crazy right insane stuff yeah my brain always for rosters is it has to be at least eight it has to be the World Warriors oh okay Street okay. Fighter yeah okay at least eight if it's less than that yeah that's a that's a really small fucking roster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it has a good amount. It has a yeah. Chris is right. It has a really good amount. Um, a lot of the characters have really interesting moves. Um, yeah, those fights do get very intense very quickly. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> I mean, if you if you look up YouTube videos of like seasoned players playing it, um, it, it usually takes one or two hits just to win a round. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. And there's a lot of stare downs. Yeah, a lot of people where just nothing there. is happening. Yeah. Just trying to psych someone. And then you and then they and then you see that and you go, Oh man, that means a lot of fucking things are happening yeah. in these people's heads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, that's something that you know, I guess having that feeling like made me kinda of miss it. Because um before that, um well I was actually gonna get into it was under Night Ember. Yeah. For the PS four latest. It's another great game. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Because I told Chris that besides Skullgirls or Third Strike in the PS three time, like in twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. Mm-hmm. Around that time, 2012, um, most time I spent on a PS3 was probably um, playing online with Undernight Ember. Mm-hmm. Um, that would include Modern Warfare 2, because that was like the biggest thing I put in as well. Okay. 
but uh it was cool going back to it um a lot of yeah they made a lot of improvements there's a lot of quality of life improvements that i wanted from ps3 yeah around that time um it has one of the best tutorials i've ever seen the biggest list i've ever guilty seen. guilty gear was the top one for me yeah but this one's like crazy oh yeah because they don't only teach you how to play the game they teach you how to play fighting games they teach you how to play fighting games. they show you basics fundamentals like what you what people what habits people tend to do mm-hmm. oh okay that's the crazy one where um they were like there's one world say uh, throw out a projectile. Ninety percent of the time, a person blocks a projectile, they'll jump. Yeah. And you learn that. Yeah. And I was like, wow, they're just telling people that. That's something I picked up just like playing enough. Yeah. Um, they teach you what a fucking fuzzy guard is. Fuzzy guard. And they use the term fuzzy guard. Yeah. Fuzzy block. Um, fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy combos. Whips. That's like the most Lovely. complicated shit. <laughs> That's the most meta complicated. You only need an Arkelly and you're good. You know what R. Kelly is, Ian? Um, that's in fighting games? Unprovable in court. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it's when... It's complete uh, fabrication. Yeah, that's when Didn't your happen. health is uh, below 50. So your bar... Ideally, your bar went from green to yellow. Oh, it's then, PP. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's when you double perfect someone and you PP'd on them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. R. Kelly. You had a maxi beam as? <laughs> Was, is a maxi beam is, uh, is a max uh, attack while you're at red. No, it's just a laser beam attack that's full screen and usually takes up half the top screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You see them in like Marvel games. Oh, for sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, Iron Man was really cool to go back to. Um, that's a great game if you. If oh you, yeah. If you just want to get into them. Yeah. For really. Sure. I mean, if you if that you game like... deserves an Evo spot, man. Like super. Oh yeah, it <laughs> super it. deserves it. Oh. Yeah, playing it, I can see why. Um, I guess some people were mad Melee's not there, but I mean, it's not like it's gone because it's not an Evo. I mean, it's still there, I guess it's just Did not... you see, you know it's the real, the real uh, controversy for me? Hmm. Did you see the schedules for the finals? No, I haven't seen them. I'll pull them up. Uh, keep going. Oh, yeah, but I, well, I guess I'm pointing to Ian because like, because I remember how much you liked uh, Blaze Blue. I, I really, really enjoyed playing that, yeah. Yeah, then I think you'll really like Emberth because it has the same style oh, in cool. a way. Oh, cool, cool. Um, it's a bit different where um, there's more uh, push and pull. Where um, uh, Blaze Blue, it's more like uh, who can. <laughs> it, it's kind of the bad thing where who can like put in their hundred hit combo first. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, in in uh, in in birth, there's more push and pull of like you go forward, you get more buffs. Uh, the person you go back more, you get more defensive. You mm-hmm. get more punishment, but you can also take advantage of that and then like destroy their meter. Sure, sure, sure. And that, and, you know, that kind of thinking. Um, okay. But yeah, that's what a lot of these games recently like. I do like, I will say I do like a lot of fighting games to be more distinct in their styles. Like, there's more things where, as Chris said, Samurai Showdown is more rock, paper, scissors, like footsie, um, oh, yeah. putting the right input. Um, and then Ember's more push and pull, like how can you, how can you overwhelm them first or like. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, that's, I guess game-wise that would be, yeah, that would be it. I mean. Um, besides that, uh, my Switch Force came out. Oh, nice. Yeah, on HD to Switch now. Cause that was, that's actually one of my favorite uh, gaming franchises. Oh, very cool, man. Because it's, it's way forward. Same people who made Shantae and, uh, and Shantae, um, they help, they also help work on, um, on some, like, on some other three, uh, games. Um, they're doing River City, right? What? Are they doing River City? Sorry, I was looking at the picture. Uh, River City what? Right, way forward. Are they doing? Are they doing? River oh, River City, City Girls. Um, yeah, they're publishing it, but Arxis is developing. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's cool because it comes with one, one and two, and then Hyper, and like Hyper Drive Edition, which oh, like the cool. HD that came out. Yeah, that came out like two years ago. Yeah. yeah. And then Academy, which was a PC game only, but then they put it on Switch, <clears> which <throat> is a four-player platformer. Okay. But yeah, if you're into two D platforms, I recommend that. I mean, it's a nice throwback. Do something, you know? Yeah, especially um, if you want to play it as it came out in 2013, mm-hmm. because the only time, the only way you could was either in the eShop, Nintendo eShop, or on the Wii, <laughs> on the Wii Shop. So now that's gone, this is probably the only chance you're gonna get to yeah. play it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I recommend that. I mean, the music is done by the same guy who did Shovel Knight, Double Dragon, Neon. Oh, tight, 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 tight. Yeah, that guy, um, Vert. Uh, Jake Kaufman, he kills it every time. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, I guess game-wise, that would be it. I, I guess it's it's a bit small of a list because I've been reading more. 
Okay. Reading a lot more stuff. Um, I told Chris um, I started reading Golden Kamui. Oh, okay. Okay. Have you heard of that one, the manga? No, I'm not familiar. Oh, it's like it's a it's a it's like a historical fiction manga. Okay. It takes place after World War One. Okay. Cool. And it's about them adjusting to um, like the increased industrialization in Japan. Okay. So you kind of, so you kind of have this thing where you have people moving to like the the rural parts. And now it's the tribes of the Ainu, like the original native tribes in Japan. From the just, northern you know, part? Northern parts, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of it takes place in Hokkaido. Okay. So a lot of fishing, a lot of um, a lot of uh, weapons trade in that area. Um, the story itself is like about a guy who, he's called uh, Sugimoto the Immortal. Okay. So he, refu- he, just, he just has him die in war. So a lot of people have tried to kill him, but he just doesn't die. But so th- I guess that's just a play on the main character not dying. By the, main, by the same token that I am immortal... Yeah. Like, I've not died yet. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not, you're immortal until you die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, is this printed or is this digital? Oh, it's both. Okay, cool. Yeah. But I read it digitally because, like, it's easier because I don't have enough space for uh, 40 volumes. Yeah, we only have so much room in our life. But yeah, I reckon, I, re- I wasn't too fond of the art style at first. Um, but later on, it eventually grew on me, especially um, the way he drew a lot of characters' faces and expressions. I'm like, okay, this guy knows. Okay. This guy really gets it. Um, it's definitely, he's definitely, the author definitely has an exception with, like, equipment explaining, like, how I, how how to hunt in the wild and how certain, like, things are used or how to feed. Okay. Yeah. There's definitely an emphasis on that. So if you're into that kind of historical stuff, I recommend it. Tight. 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 Um, what if I'm not? Well, maybe you should really think about what your problem yeah. is. Oh, yeah, yeah. You ever thought of educating yourself? <laughs> you ever thought, you ever thought of learning yourself. something new? <laughs> yeah. For or once, instead of just becoming brain dead? No. Yeah. You ever thought of just stop stopping watching your goddamn zombie <laughs> shows? <laughs> and just... my zombie shows. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't believe it's still going. I, can't I believe it's still going. I was at a Best Buy uh-huh. a few days ago, and I saw one of the seasons yeah. on the rack, uh-huh. and I misread it. Yeah. And I lost my shit for a second. Why? Because I, I, it said entire fifth season or something. Uh, oh, you said you 50? I thought it said 12th. And I, <laughs> I at that point, well, it's was at like, nine. Is it fucking nine? Yeah, I think it's at nine now. Yeah. And We're talking about Walking Dead for anyone who doesn't. Anyone who doesn't get it. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And there's a spinoff show that's on like five now, right? Yeah. So that's. I, I don't even know how long the web series went on because I remember when the web series came out, God. like second or third season. Mm-hmm. And also the video game that's set in the same universe. And oh no, that canon. was gone. That was gone. Well, 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 Telltale. well. Uh, it was, but then Skybound said they finished the thing while none of the Telltale employees are going to work on it and not get paid for it. Ah. Um, it makes me never want to buy a Telltale game. Like yeah. all the you can people can read up in it. It's a very nasty, like uh, very messy kind of thing going on yeah, yeah, yeah. right now well i mean it's it's that it's that uh crunch thing we were talking about before that, it's a that, lot it's that's the big one yeah but there's a lot of other things okay there's a lot of other things okay um yeah it's still going man they have a mobile game i don't give a shit i think there's like a pinball mobile game too oh my god i'm not sure did you guys know that the comic book ended too oh they finally was it did they go with the alien one uh, ending we all I'm gonna be honest I don't the cause part of me Let now me just wants to read the last yeah. one yeah who gives I don't care I, I, I'm gonna pull it up I'll right I'll do now. spoilers for people who still don't care but we still care about but I, I'll tell you this yeah. because it was scheduled to run until issue 200 and something okay and they ended a, but he deliberately did that as a fake out it ended at 192 okay like that's that. cool I appreciate that. Mm. Uh, so let's see. Uh, the ones that talk amongst yourselves. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, Nick, how else? Like, oh, pretty good. Read some good shit. Playing some good shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I reread Steel Ball Run, which I won't shut up about. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, I haven't uh, gotten there. Steel Ball Run is a JoJo Bizarre Adventure Part Seven. I just finished Part Five in the end. Yeah. So. Um, I kept saying last time, and I'll keep saying it again. Damn, those last ten chapters are phenomenal. Yeah. Literally the best parts, literally the best moments in the entire series. Okay. Iraqi, like, not only visually, but as a writer, like, at his best. I'm purposely not like that part because of that. 
Cool. So part A so is I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy because then you, you go from that to like part A where everyone's a fucking freak and like are That's kind abusers. of the reason I can't wait for part A. Oh my god. Because like, part A, everyone's a <laughs> fucking loser, dude. Dude, <laughs> like, I, I showed you the panels of yeah. what's the first thing he does with his power. Oh my god. Um, no. The guy with the weird cut for the hair. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he lick someone? No, he tries to uh, check out. He tries to look. Um, he tries to take the. He tries to remove bras out of all the women oh, yeah, on the street to look at him. <laughs> so so yeah, Ian. You know how in some anime they have like the creepy freak like archetype. Yes. Yes, is Araki doing the? Imagine yeah. Imagine every character is that archetype. Every single hero, your main. Is that the one with the people wearing panties on their heads? No, there's one no. person. No, that's a sailor-looking guy. There, because I remember there was an anime where someone like wears panties on his face, plays mating fly shit, and then makes a bunch of like teenagers jerk off in an auditorium. This is a real thing. I didn't oh, just have yeah. a fever dream. That's yeah, new to me, man. No, okay. Well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's carry not on. that one. <laughs> well, carry on then. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh... It wasn't. It wasn't no, no, an no, adult no. animation. Okay, no, also. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're not judging. I'm probably gonna judge it, by the way. <laughs> I'm right where I was, man. Okay, okay. I'm right where I was. Do you want to know how it out. ends? Uh, the Walking Dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is this? Let's give ourselves five minutes. Okay. So people just go five minutes from now. Okay. Okay. Because I don't care enough. Uh. Well, it turns out fucking Rick isn't even in that shit. I guess he's dead. Yeah, he died. Uh, he's helicoptered out of the anime. Uh, anime? The fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> he went to anime heaven. He, he, he helicoptered out of the TV show. Come in, sorry. Andrew Lincoln. And, like, apparently he's, he's slotted to do, what, the movies? Or some shit? But he's out of there. Really? Yeah. Okay, so... So he's gone now. Who's the story? Is it about his son? It's about Carl. Yeah. Carl has a wife. It's set ten years... Ten year jump... Wow. And basically everything is kind of suburban and normal, except if you just don't go in the countryside, because yeah. there are a handful of zombies left, but mm. basically... Yeah. I heard this. Uh, I heard in the show they're making it so the zombies are coming... Rotting or... Are rotting. becoming back human. What? Yeah. They're regaining their memories. Uh, but are they still, like, zom- zombie hungry and shit? I don't know. That's I mean, all I've heard. Jesus fucking it's an interesting idea, mm-hmm. but I have no idea. I have no idea. So, uh, the end of it... would they be decomposed at this point? Also, it's Georgia. Like, they should yeah, be rotted to nothing. they should be nothing. rotted to nothing. Anyway. Ugh, it's a okay, so what happens? What happens? Oh, uh, Herschel... Herschel's zombie shows up again. Oh, again. okay. And then he feels bad, and then they have a property... They're still at this... at this shit? Yeah. They're still... They go through so many of the encounters, like... Even... even if... I know it's like a, a human moral thing, yeah. but shouldn't they be desensitized? Like, like people who go to war and yeah. see terrible shit, like eventually, like they see people they really love die, uh-huh. and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, it was war." Yeah, like, like I don't know, like our, our grandparents or perhaps great grandparents who went to war, like mm-hmm. probably saw some shit, and then we're just like, "Now my yeah. grandparents are great parents. I have uncles and aunts." Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, that's, that's what happens, I guess. I mean, it's different for every person, but I but I that's mean, true. they're in this situation so often that where it's a where it's that exact thing. Yeah, um, the exact thing where it's someone they know and they can't do it, but that ends up killing someone else they know, and then they feel bad, yeah. and then they're like, "Oh, I should have shot him." Yeah, maybe. Like, maybe you should have. You should learn that the fifth time or something. And so, like, yeah, that's literally it. Is Carl lives in a nice house with his wife, and then. The one zombie that showed up in the neighborhood in the yeah. last like whatever how many ever many years is is his is that guy, and then he feels bad about it, uh, and the zombie doesn't do anything. Yeah. It's because it's outnumbered vastly. Yeah. Let's see. Da 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 da. Uh. And then Carl has to go to the Western Front in front of a. Oh God! There's like a court proceeding this to, to wow. determine what they're gonna do with the remain the remains of this person that, that he liked okay. huh. but they have to transport it you know eh, it's a biohazard thing uh blah 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 
ah, fuck. And then Carl lives in a farmhouse, and then he gets the property rights to dispose of the remains properly. That's how it fucking ends? <laughs> That's the dumbest shit ever? <laughs> fuck you! Now, to be fair... Yes. We haven't read, like, the volume... Uh, the couple volumes right before. I feel pretty strong. But I feels I feel like you're right. <laughs> can I? Can also, I... I'm bummed out they didn't stick with the alien thing. <laughs> right? What a what a what a rip off. Can I can I tell you something There's else? Robert Kirkman should release the next volume, and it should just be called 250, and it should be the alien thing. <laughs> <laughs> like he just jumped a few yeah, issues. Just, He's like, yeah. here's the thing. Here's, They're in Area 51. And here's the what zombies. I promise. They all Naruto ran at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, oh my god, I have no fucking patience for Robert mm-hmm. Kirkman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I've moved on. I've yeah. moved on. It's time, it's time for all of us to move on. Yeah. Um, Kirkman surely did. Yeah. Sure did. Okay. And it's been five minutes, so. That's plenty. All right, that's plenty of time. We had nothing interesting, really, to say. No, yeah, it, yeah. honestly, it doesn't matter. You <laughs> can watch five that. Minutes, Listen, really, it's really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> hey, yeah. it's like... It's like we were working on a show that just kept <laughs> fucking going yeah. forever with no direction. That's right. Yes, yeah, Sam. That's right. That's right. Mm. Uh, so what else, Nick? <laughs> I mean, besides that, uh, well, I mean, yeah, like Chris said, we finished watching JoJo Part Five because it ended. And and you posited we when we talked about it earlier. Yeah. That there will be no more. For oh for I said okay Wait, so for what? no because I okay so the thing is like um, when he asked me about it I said I don't know if they can pull off part six and it's not because I don't think they're uh, capable as artists I just think there's a lot of product placement and a lot of things that they're gonna have to deal with I don't know dude copyright they get some wise. crazy shit in there I don't mean the names Chris I mean like actual people and oh yeah that pictures. stuff yeah that you told me um yeah I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. They'll be named something else because yeah, that's what it'll be. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I was about to say what he said. They're not making any more JoJo. No. That's he, fucking crazy. <laughs> they they make them so much money, <laughs> and there's three more parts. Of course they would make more. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. But besides that, we finished. We caught up to. Attack. Then they would break a promise to me that they could do all eight. Yeah. yeah. You know that intro. Um. For part one of JoJo Sono Chino Sanami? Yes. Do you know how it starts? Do you know how it starts? Um, you know the first thing it starts? It's the first thing that happens in it. You know how the first thing in the opening? It flips pages before it lands on Jonathan, um, and he comes out of the pages. And then he, the like, jumps starts. up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what all those pages are? Is it the manga? It's it's the manga, and it, each one has a character from each part, or the, the main character. And it starts at part eight. And so it, it goes, goes all, the way, all the way down to one. Okay. So it's a promise that we're doing all of this shit. Okay. And they just finished five. So okay. we're doing it. Fuck, dude, I love that intro so much. Oh yeah. So you're yeah. watching it, right? Oh. Yeah, I'm still watching. It. No, I mean, I mean, you watch the intros before you watch. No, it. I still keep it up because you Good. told me. That yeah, it's... you're. There's gonna be. You're gonna be like super rewarded. For okay. That. Okay. Super rewarded for that. Also, the ending soon. Yeah. Um. Yeah, JoJo's good, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What did you think of Part 5? Part 5 is cool. Uh, there, I don't know where it ranks in um, all this stuff I've seen. Mm-hmm. I still have a soft spot for Part 1. I mean, there. I love each part for different reasons. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And then I was rethinking it. I was like, man, I think I really fucking loved Part 4. Oh, yeah. Just because of the vibe the yeah. entire time. Yeah. At the very least, the last inch, the last opener is like one of my favorites now. For four, yeah. Oh, breakdown. Yeah, yeah. Guy, I mean, I mean, Diablo and King and King Crimson are fucking dope. Oh yeah. Uh, it's crazy what Araki decides to do for the ending encounter with King mm. Crimson instead of making <laughs> it a straight up fight. Yeah. He introduces a whole new mechanic to mm. thing, and it's the most complicated. It's the most, like, bananas, what are they going to do, actually? Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, it's crazy. Mm. Also, he may get, he may get, he, he, I think gets it harder than Cars, because Cars can turn his brain off mm. for the way, for the way his encounter, for the way that boss ends. Okay. Um, whereas mm. King Crimson has it fucking bad. Yeah. Um, it's weird uh, how they, 
Because it really seemed, and I, I said this as soon as I hit Nick, it really seemed like, because they cut out in a, a stand entirely from the show. At least until the very last minute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to, the, to the point where it really feels like they thought they didn't have time and then went, oh, we have enough for one more. All right, we'll do this. And it'll be a flashback. So it's weird because I can't, cause the final counter with the final guy ends like before they do a flashback thing. Right. And that's weird. Yeah. That was a weird way to end it. Um, and then there's a, and then that character is basically posing as Jesus. Um, mm-hmm. it's not, dude, he it's, gets two, he gets two stigmatas in that thing. And he has a little head ornament that's thorns true. in the back. And then at one point he's just straight up posing. Like, uh, like, like Christ, Christ pose. Like, yeah. yeah. He he's has a character posing. that looks like he just stabbed Christ with, like, no. something. God, well, he was more like a posing, like he just got rendered in. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's great. Sure. Yeah. It's great. You're gonna no. love that encounter, that last one no. for five. No. It's so I, stupid. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid. I love it. It's uh, yeah. It's some Scooby Doo shit. Uh, <laughs> the last. Um, no, I'm just really glad how it all came out because Reenet was kind of like, I don't know the voices or like you know you can't like yeah. differentiate them as much in your head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when you tell me that, that makes one of the that makes the like one of the last encounters very much me going. That must have been super confusing in the manga. Oh yeah. Uh, whereas here it plays off really well. It's also like you see stuff in motion where I just panel to panel. It helps a lot. Yeah. And <laughs> like the whole there's a whole joke before this of how King Crimson just works, and I just told you about and I told you about it like early podcasts. Yeah. He skips time. Yes. So. I forgot that he actually explains how it works when you first meet him, mm-hmm. when he first appears, appears, and I st- and at the time I still didn't understand how it worked. Mm-hmm. You it know, explains he explains way better emotion. Yeah, way better emotion, uh, especially towards the end. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, I finished reread seven. Old experience um, requiem is the better question for how that for who Stan works. Oh yeah, that's, that's <laughs> confusing shit. Yeah. It's it's pretty it's pretty nuts, huh? Yeah. Anyway, it's great. Yeah. So just so good. But what I gotta ask um Do you have a favorite sand from five? From five? Yeah. From five there's one I wanna say, but I want it to be a complete surprise to Ian because of how stupid it is. Okay. Um <laughs> so I'm not gonna say that one. Okay. Uh I love Abaccio's. It's really cool. Just because of the whole... I like the sound effect. I like the concept. Mm-hmm. And it's so fitting for his character. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, White Album's great. Yeah. Um, While my guitar gently weeps. Yeah, that was God great. Damn it. I love King Crimson's design. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's actually, Oh, uh, maybe Black Sabbath. Oh, Because Black, Black Sabbath's design is one of my favorites now. It's really unique. Yeah, it's incredibly unique. It's, it's so different. Yeah. Um... Turns of encounter, maybe notorious B.I.G. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Isn't that scary? It's the it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like you just have to shoot it in space, even then. The way they handle it is crazy. Like oh, oh yeah, sounds up there. Nice. I don't know if I like him as much as some of the encounters in Part Four, though. Still. So. Oh okay. I fucking love the radio tower, dude, and oh, I yeah. love Enigma. UFO and the Enigma. goddamn alien. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's a fucking alien. I don't care what anyone else has to say. Oh, yeah. This, oh. <laughs> no. That man's an alien. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. So, I guess I want to... I mean, after... Um, well, before finishing part five, we caught up to Attack on Titan. Okay. Third season. Oh, that's right. Did we ever talk about that? No. Hey, watch Attack on Titan. You really should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we were like... Because you were like... They, we they, talked they, about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we had a long card. He's like, uh, the first season... Like, they seem like they're not going to answer these questions. And yeah. then I'm like, you should really watch the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will say, season two and three are miles, like, better. Okay. And season one, it's good, it's good uh, but uh, yeah, I do have problems with it. But then... But two and three are yeah. steps above. Like, so it's crazy. you find out those actually aren't problems. They're actually intentional. Okay. And uh, I Honestly, the less you know, the, the better yeah. off you are. Okay. It's one of the best part. Yeah. It's incredibly worth your time. Okay. Yeah, because then we'll probably have to do a whole spoiler cast mm-hmm. explain. And I'll do it, man, because like oh, yeah. I'm in now. All right. Here's the thing: there's no way I would have stu- I would have like I could have stand watched uh, waiting for each episode to come out week by week. 
Yeah. They're yeah. just like totally been like, because it's just like keep going, keep going, what's the next thing? Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Anyway, yeah, if you ever want to do a spoiler cast, I'm totally down to yeah. it. Yeah. That shit's good. Okay. Uh, what else, man? I mean, I think I talked about before where I started getting into Murakami books. Yeah. So the first thing I read was uh, Wild Sheep Chase. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get too much into, like, my. What's the sheep represent, man? The sheep itself? Yeah, what's the sheep? Um, so. <laughs> spoilers, I guess. I don't know. Because, like. It, For this I, book that came out in 87. 87. Mm-hmm. I mean, because. It was like, the 90s. Because. The English version. Oh, that's true. I, I, I'm so used to, like, when you have a, when you have an item. Or what's it called in, in, in writing when you have, like, an item? MacGuffin. Object, MacGuffin. I'm so used to, I thought it was just going to be a MacGuffin. No. Like, it was just going to no, be... No, it's actually important. Yeah, it's actually important. Because the moment I started thinking, he's going to find a sheep in the garage or somewhere, like in the car. And then literally a man in a sheep suit walks in. Yeah, dude. And now I'm yeah, like, man. no, fuck yeah, everything man. I thought. Yeah, man. Any assumption I made, yeah, fuck man. it. Yeah, man. I have no idea what's going to happen. I fucking love that scene. It's so weird. And I, fu- yeah, I really liked it. It's I- so cash. <laughs> it, it's on fleek. Shit's cash. <laughs> I I mean like it's in it's an embodiment of like so much of what makes his writing so amazing. Yeah. Is that it is in many ways relentlessly realistic. Yeah. yeah. And that until the moment it is abruptly not. Yeah. But it's still weirdly down to earth because and I think what he does it's be- it's because what I think he does it for a lot of his novels he takes one specific aspect of like Japanese social cu- uh, culture mm-hmm. um, and starts really going into it and this and Wild Sheep Chase is social apathy or like yeah or just apathy in general for society and not participating in it and being until the issues start coming to you and you're being forced yeah. to it. That's so, why one of like my favorite scenes in that book is him smashing the guitar. Oh, do I love that? It's the that. first mm-hmm. time he makes a decision for himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the first time he does something of his own volition that's not because someone else yep. is influencing him. Yep. Yeah. I guess that would also... I guess when I was Plus, it's it, rock and roll, man. It's rebellion. 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 Well, it's I, made that, um, I made that comment in a class when I was... <laughs> I was like, it's rock and roll, man. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I don't know if, uh, again, like, I had, I had no expectations, so I had, I had, no, I had, yeah. had no idea what I was gonna, mm-hmm. what was gonna happen, because I haven't read anything, that was, like, the first thing I read, because, uh, I asked Chris what would be the first thing to read, and then, well, it's his first book? Yeah. Why not start at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, I can, I can see why, um, I can see why it's really, it's really up there. Yeah. Um. And it's one of the easier reads, quite honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like halfway through Norwegian Wood and like, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, good. man, that's a that's. A I love that book. Yeah, I really it's do. really good. Norwegian Wood's good. Wait till what? you get to Kafka on the shore and wind up bird, man. Yeah, that's um. You want to talk about some metaphysical shit? It's a really oh, wow. great body of work, but Norwegian yeah. Wood. I think Norwegian Wood and and um, After Dark probably still have some of the fondest places in, mm. in my heart. Yeah, just especially the. The kind of discomfort that yeah. can be reached in After Dark, yeah, it it it, it, it it that that it works on a on a dream level mm-hmm. of logic. That there's mm-hmm. many moments in that book that don't have actual real world logical one to one parallels, but mm-hmm. when you watch it, when you read it, yeah, it's it's like yeah. Yeah, I get that. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's right. No, I think After Dark is one of the few I haven't. And I've read, like, eight of all of his. Mm. I think it's eight. How is 1Q3-4? IQ3. It's dense, but it's very good. It's, oh, okay. It's, yeah, everyone's telling me. It's probably... Pro- it's, I would recommend it as a break-it-up kind of story. Just, like, take your... There's oh, no yeah. need to rush into it. Mm. It's, it's something you let... Mm kind of wash over you yeah oh, okay and pour over just because it goes many different ways until you, until you suddenly realize you know what 1q84 makes me think of what is it 1q84 or iq84 1q34 
It's uh, it's his iteration of the themes of 1984. That I know. So, so it's one Q84. One, it's one Q84. Okay. Um, he, uh, it's, what it's like is, like, I'm sure this is going to be super relatable for everyone. It's like when you do acid, and then uh-huh. you, uh, you think, well, that, that didn't do anything. Uh-huh. What a waste of my time. Yeah. I guess and you I'll start just, talking to your wall in your bathroom and like. I was gonna say, then you go hang out with your friend, uh-huh. and then the roads start to snake into space, and you're suddenly driving in space, uh-huh. and you see really surreal things, and the, the seat is talking to you, and then after this fantastic adventure where you grew and learned, you realized I never left the house. Gee, oh god, uh, that's far out, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> In the, in the way that it seems like you're going really out of the, your way, yeah. and in fact, oh no, looking back, everything mm-hmm. served a circular purpose that was yeah, yeah. seated the whole time. Yeah, I mean, that... Wind Up Bird whole... Chronicle is you better be fucking paying attention the entire time. Yes. Because everything matters in oh, that okay. story. And it's one of the longest ones, and every single little thing... It's crazy. That book's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's so dense. It's good. Mm-hmm. That's like, that it's tiring. <laughs> it's mm. Well, I was gonna say like it's funny you brought up about apathetic like, like the critique of like go, um, the Japanese like going th- like conforming to every single thing, mm-hmm. and any um, yeah. any if you don't adjust to every single little thing, it's like you kind of get shunned in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that so I think, apathy. but I think there's a little bit more to it in that. Okay. I think he's just on his own. He's trying. He's baby. He's you know what? Bringing it back to JoJo, he's Yoshikaga carrying it, in that he's trying to separate himself from society as much as he can oh, okay. to be on his own. Yeah. Until other people literally force him to do it, like abruptly. He goes in, does his job. It's very, it's conformist. Yes, in the sense that he's doing that. Um, he's abiding like a lot of the societal rules there. Mm-hmm. But it's also apathy in that he's not participating. He's barely there. Mm-hmm. He has barely any influence on anything. Mm-hmm. Until, like, something happens. Yeah. yeah. No, so, that book's great. That's, like, still one of my favorites. Yeah, so what I was going to say is... Um, uh, yeah, sorry. sorry. No, that's cool. Uh, what I was going to say is that... Um, that reminded me. It, I remember reading him. It reminds me a lot of um, like Nisio, like Nisio Oisin, the guy who made Monogatari. Mm-hmm. He had the whole um, mystery novel series, the Zaragoto series, yeah. the decapitation strangulation. Where I, you know, I I would say I think I like Murakami's critique on it more mm-hmm. than um, this than the mystery novels because kind of like. Do you remember the episode of Fairly Odd, Fairly Odd Parents with Timmy Turner? When he loses emotion. Yes. And everyone's yeah. freaking out because he's too... He doesn't do anything, or he just doesn't care. He's not engaged with anything. Yeah. So I think that's kind of what the second book kind of leans towards. It's like, in a way, it gives him power over everyone. Being yeah. That, being that, showing no emotion. Because people can just dump their problems on him. Yeah. And he can just take it. And towards the end, it's like... Oh look! I don't care so much. I'm gonna break my entire hand in front of you. I guess spoilers, but I'm gonna break my entire hand in front of you to show you how much I don't care. Right. And then the person, then the murderer turns herself in, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And that's how. And I read, like. So uh, yeah, that's advocating like apathy is a superpower. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Yeah. That's like that's such a weird trope in most um. And most media, man. Yeah. Where the apathetic person is the most intelligent one and, like, knows everything. Mm-hmm. Literally, Fairly Parents has a joke in that where Timmy goes, now that I'm apathetic to everything, I can see everything clearly. Mm-hmm. Obviously, a chicken came before the egg, and yeah. the reason they never built a ship on Gilligan's Island because it would have sunk the series. Yeah. Which someone felt very proud for writing that line. But. Yeah. yeah. But it's such a weird trail, man. It's, it's weird. It's... It was weird to read. Because I don't think that's true. I mean... No. I, I also think that it's very strange that... Because we... We know people who are apathetic. I'm, no. not, going to, I'm not going to point The worst you. is someone trying to be apathetic. Oh, that's, that's exhausting. That it's, it's... Don't even... I don't even want to talk to this person. No. <laughs> like, 
But I think that we both, we all three of us know that like people who don't give a shit mm. often, that's not a sign that you are above it and uh-huh. informed. It's a sign that you either are incapable of or not presently informed enough. Uh-huh. Like, honestly, I think most apathetic people are really, like, fucking dumb people. Yeah, was, <laughs> Like, the, the, if, you, if, you're, if you're completely removed from, let's just say, social situations, like, mm-hmm. then that means that you think that you're above other people in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, re- I remember writing this <laughs> short story, and my argument was for... It was a sci-fi short story for a class. It, uh, it was, um... Is the argument for that there's no way you could understand or lead humans on logic alone? You have to understand what emotions do to people, yeah, and mm-hmm. how people can make uh, deci- decisions that are illogical, but perfectly seem logical and situational, yeah, mm-hmm. stuff. And I think that's what apathy does: is it gets rid of the situational context. Mm-hmm. It gets away of the empathy of what people are thinking. You can't understand someone unless you truly experience like. Uh, at least some range of the emotions they're going through. I mean, yeah. But I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at that point because I'm just saying emotions make us human. Yeah. And it's like, but then it's also tricky. But then, I mean, it's true, man. Like, sorry. Well, I mean, I guess well, I was gonna say this will kind of like, it's kind of tricky because then you get to the whole like pretending to care, art a situation. Sure. Where it's like, oh that yeah, and then it's just condescending. Yeah, because then you for you force to care or you force yourself not to care. Then it's like yeah, and and then. Another thing to consider is that I think very often, you know, people who think that they're very empathetic or empathic, Mm -hmm. if you are too absorbed in what you are feeling and you are not genuinely thinking about another person, well, then you have no actual way to, like, you have no metric to measure it. Mm -hmm. You're blind by, by your own, uh navel gazing your uh-huh. own internal self yeah. yeah it's like trying to... it's incredibly narcissistic and like mm-hmm. oh, it's like trying to fucking you know navigate a ship made of magnets like you will never find which way yeah. you are you are fucking up your own navigation mm-hmm. yeah so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah but i will say to people um who are yeah forcing yourself to care is like condescending and all that but i think where you can find if you don't care about the subject I, I would say measure how much you care about the person. Yeah. Because if they're genuinely interested in something and you've had no interest in, I can be interested in the fact that they're interested in that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, I can be excited for someone. Well, no, I mean, if, they, for if they're willing to learn, yeah. They're willing yeah. To, uh, oh, yeah, then themselves. we're getting into who that fucking human being is. But, um, but yeah. No, it's tricky. It's like... Um, it is. But, yeah, no, just getting to it. I, I really I really do think I like Murakami's oh, interpretation yeah. of it, the Nisio Isin. That's great. I would still recommend Monogatari, but I, you know, looking back on it, I enjoyed reading, I enjoyed reading the mystery series. I don't know if I enjoyed those two books looking back on it. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's like when I had, you... I had fun reading it. Yeah. Oh, no, I had fun, I had fun watching the movie. Yeah. I don't know if I liked the movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was no, like, I know exactly what you mean. Like, reactive. The yeah. book's very reactive to me. Yeah. yeah. And I don't mind getting the other books, because like, someone told me it gets better. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And I'll enjoy reading them, but like thinking back, I don't know if I I would just have to give it another chance. Sure. Yeah. But that's but that's my case. Um, hey, is Wild the, Sheep Chase the the one the chapter that says nothing good in this chapter? No. Okay, that's a different book. I was trying to remember which book it was. Isn't that the or... Rockway or? No, it's a it's a murder comedy novel. Oh, okay. It's like the title of a chapter, uh, and it's great. Oh, cool. All right. Alright, yeah, yeah, I guess that's it for me. Okay, man. Um, Yeah, sure, I'll take it off. Like Nick mentioned before, we're going to Evo Mm -hmm. this year. I've been kind of just prepping for that shit. Uh, Already talked about Samurai Showdown, uh, Attack on Titan, JoJo. What else? What else? What else? else? Uh, I was watching something. What did I watch? Tim Robinson. Yes. Oh, wow, did I not talk about that yet? No. No, because we're fucking fun. Because you watched it and then I watched it. Yeah, because I was making everybody watch it. What is Sounds what? like sketch comedy's back. Oh, mm-hmm. Tim Robinson's got a new sketch show? Tim, Tim Robinson, I think you should leave. Oh, is that his name? Yeah. I was picturing the guy from The Office. No, I watched... Yeah. Well, I think you should leave. Yeah. yeah. The, the full title is Tim Robinson's I Think You Should Leave. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tremendously funny. funny. 
Yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> it's really good. Man, I made I made two of my friends watch that after they did a night of drinking. <laughs> and they were just giggling like idiots. And I literally had a buddy of mine. Uh, one of my favorite moments is the motorcycle skit. And he's just like doing that thing where he's holding a lap and he's going, it's so fucking dumb. It's, it's really so stupid. dumb. <laughs> that, that skit is so fucking dumb. Yep. <laughs> and it's so funny. And like, I keep quoting it. A motorcycle like, without a motor. Okay, <laughs> I guess. Like, that was the thing I was quoting around Nick to make him watch it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, a mor- a mor- two motorcycles with a little house in the middle? Okay. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the Greyhound bus. <laughs> what? <laughs> And then he goes fucking into space to a giant motorcycle in the space mm-hmm. uh, ship. and so, of, Oh, God. I, I think the one that I really, really liked was, um, fuck, the, the game show one. Uh, oh, that's yeah. Chunky. Chunky. What's Don't your... come over here! <laughs> no. Don't talk! The mess doesn't have a mouth that moves. It looks weird. Dude. Don't take his laptop. <laughs> it's expensive. You're going to pay for that. Yeah. Oh, you got a hat. What are you going to do? Wait, you're, uh, you're, 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 you're putting the hat on? You're going to make him wear his hat. It's his hat. All right, I'm wearing the hat. I'm wearing that. It's my hat. It's my hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. What's the, I love the fucking um, the back pain one. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Spinal laser surgery. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up my son. There's shit he can do about it. Come here, you little fog, Dad. What are you doing? I'm like 31. He's always disrespecting me. Fucking so funny. And this one, turn to page seven in your hymnals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now this one's supposed to be morbid. It's about a little duckling that gets his head stuck in a stewed tomato. Right. Uh, don't be afraid to clap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want Fred one Willard. Of those I can't believe Fred Willard's still working. That's. I mean, I'm delighted. Yeah, it's so cool. No, he's, yeah. he's funny. He's like. really funny. <laughs> um, he knows how to play his characters, man. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's been doing that shit since the '60s, man. <laughs> like that, and also St- the Stephen Stephen Yuen sketch. Yeah, the that one. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I also just want to see Stephen Yuen work more. Yeah, I really yeah. like him. Yeah. You know? I really like him too. I want to. I want to see him outside. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, he like really... all this. He he can't. He's funny. Like he. I, you see him on the Conan O'Brien stuff, and he's funny and every he's time. He's super funny, and he's yeah. been in. I've only seen him in the in Thank You to Bother. Sorry to bother you, but yeah. that. I mean, great yeah. choice. Oh yeah. yeah. No, he's funny, man. Like he's really funny. Yeah. Um, fuck, dude, that show. Everyone should go see it. The Mr. Scro- uh, the Ebenezer Scrooge one <laughs> <laughs> in the future. Or With the guy skeleton. from Deep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is his name, dude? I always forget his fucking name. <laughs> Sam Richardson? Yeah. Or, or the baby. Wanna say? Yeah, the baby one. The one where they, like, uh, judge George all the babies. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw Mr. The, the dad for little baby num nums. <laughs> Give the oral to the mystery judge. <laughs> and I think Mr. Baby Num Nums could have won. And he, the, the dad did not have to do the oral. <laughs> All right, well, before we announce the games, we're going to do our in memoriam section. <laughs> they're all they all died of old age it's not like they were they were all old babies grow up yeah <laughs> and it's all these horrible like tragic deaths really dark yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. no it's that's that shit's fucking that was funny. really funny yeah. yeah yeah dude i'm so glad a show like that exists yeah so like just keep sketch comedy alive yeah man yeah uh let's see what else what else didn't I watch? I had bought a bunch of movies from the Criterion sale. Cool. Um, bought Devil's Backbone, Del Toro, which I didn't own. I, ne- I never had a copy of Pan's Labyrinth, which was weird, so I bought that. Good. Uh, Black Girl, I bought because I watched that movie once for a class and I really liked it. Mm. Uh, Racerhead and Video Drill. I think there might have been one more. Oh, Godzilla, first one. Which now I have to buy the 15 Blu ray disc yep. uh, Criterion collection. That's the, the original show Showa era, right? Yeah, um, all the yeah. Showa. I hope they come up with the Hessian era. That's one. my favorite era. Uh, now, saying it out loud may doom it, 
-hmm. but just to take the temperature, how excited would you be to see a band titled the band the band is named Woman in the Radiator? That much. Okay. I don't is know. It, Why? Is it like a rockabilly band? Shoot, I don't know. I mean, I when it's I was a young indie band, it's not like a scum. When some. I was when I was watching Eraserhead, I just thought, like, uh, "Oh, Woman in the Radio, that's a good name." Oh okay. man, it's been years since I watched Eraserhead. There's no way I remember. That. Oh, I thought sorry. You were being for real. No, no, no. Like, Absent like, Silhouettes a good like, you know, Absent Silhouettes is a core metalcore. Good, band. good Evanescent style. Yeah, yeah, like a metalcore thing. Yeah, uh, get violins. Violins. Um, I'm looking into buying an electric violin. By the way, I'm yeah, no, no. But it's an easy way to learn, though. Like, I mean, they're I'm not gonna play around you. Thank you. You can't be <laughs> graced by my. Like, <laughs> we do like a folk death metal thing, right? So we have like <laughs> death metal. How many screaming. people prove that? We have death metal screaming, and then we have yodeling, and then like a accordion. I feel like this is what America's ready for. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Sweden's ready for. They've been ready for it for twenty Ever. years now. Right. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. It's um, really popular. So what? Wasn't I playing? I was playing. Oh, uh, I played and beat Hat in Time. Cool. Because I'm a huge fan of 3D platformers. Yo, that game is charming as fuck. It's so. It really looks Like, good. how do you not have fun or play that with a smile on your face? That, okay. It's like really that. cool. It and the it feels it feels wonderful to play. It feels like a wonderful. To, like, if you have any interest at all into 3D platformers, that's the one to get. Right yeah. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone who made that like. Nailed it out of the party. The music's amazing. The characters are charming. Um, that boss fight was crazy. Uh, a lot of the boss fights are actually really good, which is hard to make good boss fights in 3D platformers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah. And there's really good ones. There's one where you defeat a haunted toilet, and it's like one of my favorite fights. In there. <laughs> and that. It's good. Uh, so no, you, that game's great. So you change hats for the powers? Yeah. There's, there's Honestly, it's a fairly straightforward game. Oh, okay. You just get good at platforming. That's sure. It. That's like that's it. There's no, there's no. There's no trick. Yeah, a lot, the hat power swapping is great. Mm. Sure. Uh, because you get to do some fun shit. Uh, mm. you get time stop and it's cool, but, um, it's good. It's a straightforward game and it's fucking fun to play. If you just want a really well made platformer, mm. that's the one to get, man. Yeah, no, I I would like to play because I remember watching you play like the last two levels, uh-huh. but I do want to I do want to cool. check that out and then the DLC. Yeah. Yeah, DLC, that's basically one of the Yakuza games. Oh. Was it Nyakuza? Nyakuza, oh Nyakuza Metro. Metro. Like Nyakuza Zero. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a character named Nyajima instead of Majima. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he comes out of a sewer. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like Majima does. Yeah. Sure. And he goes up to you and says, Kuwami means extreme. And yeah. And then he attacks you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Yakuza, I started playing Judgment. I haven't gone far, which is their new game. Oh, hell yeah. Um, it's a detective story. It barely has anything to do with Yakuza. Uh, so if you, if you had any interest in, in those Yakuza games, or just not want, want to know what they're about, yeah. but you don't want to do the story because there's six freaking games with mm-hmm. them, um, and they're all connected, uh, try out Judgment. See if you like that gameplay right, and, they're, and what they're about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you still get all the goofy shit with the side stories and all that. All right. Mm. Uh, so far, it's good. I haven't gotten far. I've only played like four and a half hours. Um, what do you think of its presentation? I think that'll probably be more to talk about. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's all about the Japanese legal system and how fucked up that is. Uh, yeah, there's... Like, they really rub it in, like, how hard it is to win a defense case. I got remind yeah. me. I got to bring up a movie I watched. Th- yeah, okay. On that topic. So the easiest way to talk about this in video game form, OJ, oh. is if anyone who's played Ace Attorney, mm-hmm. and that's about how crazy buffoonery the the legal, yeah, system. The legal system is in Japan, mm-hmm. but in like a goofy kind of like fun way to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, judgment's like more straightforward. Okay. And like the game literally starts out with a, ga- a man you had uh, gone an acquittal of. Uh, is found and highly suspected to have murdered, like, commits a murder yeah. the next day. So far, I haven't gotten too much into the case. I don't know if that's true or not. Mm-hmm. But it really looks like he killed his girlfriend the next day and set the apartment on fire. That's bad. So guess what that looks bad on. So, uh, and it becomes, and now you're playing him as a detective instead of a lawyer. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, You got Yakuza Buddy. You guys fly drones. Yeah, oh yeah. It's weird. What do you think of uh, the combat? Compared to six and five, uh, the con- he's a dip. He plays different than Kiryu. Mm. There's uh, in this game. There's almost no mention of of any of the Yakuza games. Like none. Mm. The closest reference I've gotten. Well, the only thing is, it takes place in. Um, oh my god! Why am I forgetting the fucking name now? Uh, Kamurocho, and it uses all the same. City. Like, if you know the layout, you know the layout. Yeah. Which you probably do if you've been playing these Yakuza games long enough. Um, and you play, and you do that, but honestly, there's no, like, reference to the Yakuza series. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to a bar at some point in that game, and you hear Bakuman T playing. Yeah. Where that's a super common Enka song. Yeah. In Japanese, so in Japan. So, that could just be that. Um, you can become friends with a lot of the workers there okay. and they'll help yeah, you out in fights they'll throw you like hot sauce it's cool and then you can pour hot sauce down someone's eyes and it's like okay fucking brutal yeah it was, that game's great it's definitely like the presentation like remind it it definitely tries to have like that drama that J-drama kind of oh god it. so much dude it has like a J-drama intro <laughs> once you get yeah. past that like you would like it. It's so it's the song, the song, the presentation, the way it cuts to characters, uh, is crazy. Mm. There's even sometimes when they're talking and like some music will play. Not too often though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's really it's really going for it. Like it feels like they're going for a cop drama. Mm. Mm. Um, it's crazy. Maybe I should just show you the intro to to get like you into it because okay. it looks like a TV show. <laughs> like I'll pull, I'll pull that. Off. Yeah. Mm. Because like it's crazy that, and plus the game's great all yeah. the characters are cool uh, again I haven't gone too far so I don't have like opinion like real like thought out opinions other sure. than it's fun I'm it's enjoying fun. what I like what I've seen so far yeah uh, my only thing is I haven't found many side quests I don't know if that's because of me uh, like I'm bad at finding them or it's just I just haven't so gone there yet yeah. and as I've said before yeah because it's all about the side quests mm-hmm. yeah. and all the dumb shit you can yeah. do in that There'll be some very clear points. I want to fight some people dressed as babies again. Oh, yeah, some too. But I was going to say, there's some very clear points in those Yakuza games where it's clear they want you to, like, do some side missions. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll have some chance to just try to do as many as you feel like and then get Mm -hmm. back to the story. Mm -hmm. I just remembered, I know we all saw, we all saw Spider-Man Homecoming. Yes. uh, Do we want to talk about that? Yeah, if you want, we can, yeah, let's throw it out. Like, what, 30 minutes? Uh, sure, if you want. All right. So, 30 minutes from this moment right here, if you want to skip Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, spoilers, um, starting now. It's good. It's good. Do you like it as much as uh, Far Far? No, sorry, this Homecoming. is Far From Home. I like Not... Far From Home more. Wait, is Far From Home the second one? Yes. Or... Of Homecoming? Do you Homecoming. like it more than Homecoming? Yes. Okay, I, I like Homecoming more. Okay, why? Um, I like... Big butts. I think I just like the vulture Damn. a lot more as a as a character. Yes, but I think that's oh, okay. because of Michael Keaton. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal plays a really good Mysterio. In fact, I, I can't. I like that's an awful last name. It's it's to the point. <laughs> so I was I was with my brother and sister while watching this. Um, and I was sitting next to my sister, and she said, this is, like, her fourth time seeing it. She has, like, a mad crush on, like, Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal. Sure. Um, and we're watching, I'm like, Jake Gyllenhaal is really, either really phoning it in, or they're going to do the flip thing, where he's, like, turns out to It's be broadcast pretty early. Yeah, because Mysterio has to be a villain. He, like... We all know who yeah, he is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I go, oh, he's such a villain. And she goes, yeah, it's like, now that I'm re-watching it, it's fairly obvious <laughs> yeah um although the the transition part when it finally does happen is really good that scene in the yeah, bar yeah, is probably good. his best scene like it's really rain. strong i honestly kind of wish i'm just gonna jump into talking uh-huh. about the movie uh yeah. I, I kind of wish that jake gyllenhaal's character they played more with his conflict yeah because they do set up that jake gyllenhaal i'm sorry the yeah, Mysterio. The Mysterio. Mysterio. Uh, 
genuinely likes Peter Parker. Yeah. Genuinely thinks he's a sweet kid. Yeah, they don't play that up too much. I feel like if they had just turned that knob yeah. up a little bit more, it would have made their interaction yeah. more compelling. They should have played it up more when he was already revealed to be the villain. Yeah. Because they play it up beforehand. Um and it just goes, oh, then I should really hate this guy because he's manipulating. No, he like he genuinely likes Peter Parker. Yeah, uh, as a human being, but like, and I but they barely talk about it once he turns up. And then, and then you, when you get the later rehearsal scene yeah. that he does, he's upset, and it comes through. But I think again, we could have pushed it even harder. Mm-hmm. How if he really like? Okay, let's say for for argument's sake. Mm-hmm. This, where is this guy's morals resting? Yeah. Because if, if Peter Parker is someone that he genuinely likes Mm -hmm. and cares about and is a child. Yeah. I feel like it should have been even more wrenching for him Mm -hmm. to be like, well, I'm going to murder a kid. Yeah. Like, that's the only solution I see. Yeah. Like. And it kind of comes out with no fanfare. Like it's, no. it is him, and he does make a fuss about yeah. it. And but it's like, well, I'm not going to. But I'm not. It, I felt like at the end of the scene, it was, but I'm not going to harp on about it. Like, yeah, what's done is done. I'm going to have to do it. Yeah. And I feel like it should have been more like a, a drawn out. Yeah. Through the next couple scenes of, oh, fuck, what can I do? Mm-hmm. I guess it's kill. Is <laughs> yeah. there anything else? Murder, 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 big murder. Um, big murder this child. I feel like that's really the only other thing. All the other beats work. For they, me. They, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Mary Jane played by Zendaya, um, <sighs> and their relationship is played really well. That feels adorable. like a real teen relationship. That feels so yeah. fucking real. It's it's to the point where it's adorable. Yeah. Like it's like oh they have no idea. They have no. Co- <laughs> look how look and and from and also Zadia plays it the realest. I think. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, more than Legit. Tom Holland. Because <laughs> I've seen people in real time act like that. Yeah. Like Z- Zendaya. She even gets like some of the ne- like. It's a weird no, man. But she gets some of these like John like neck muscle tensions going on. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I've seen that with people. That's crazy. That's real. Yeah. And that's hip hop. I don't know that. It's on, I assume it's on purpose in the sense that, like, she's going for the real nervous look. Yeah. But, like, even that, I was like, wow, that, for whatever reason, like, clicked with me. And I like that they also established that, you know, Mary Jane... Mary Jane's a cool girl. Uh-huh. Um, but, like, cool with quotations in the sense that, like, yeah. it's the mysterious, like... And that they, yeah, they allow her to be thing. fleshed out and real uh-huh. and exist in a, like... No, I like I'm literally doing the exact same thing. I'm just better at pretending than you yeah. are. <laughs> That's the only difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, you're Spider Man. I was only like sixty two percent. Yeah, that was <laughs> such a good Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a good line. Um I uh, Would you like the the the, the 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 illusions? I honestly think my favorite scene of the movie was the was that fight. My favorite scene is uh the first scene is the first scene of the illusions of uh, him messing with Peter Parker. Yeah, is my second favorite. Okay. Uh, in the sense, well, one, it's visually amazing, and they yeah. get all the Mysterio beats in, yep. even the fucking mirrors and the and Spider Man jumping out of the mirror to do it, uh, and the train is a great cut in. Yeah. Like it's, you get that fucking face that uh, Peter B. Parker does in Into the Spider Verse, where it's the hand over the mouth. <laughs> yeah. they get it's still one of my favorite fucking <laughs> moments in that movie yeah. um my favorite scene is the spider sense scene in the illusion where he fights on the bridge mm. yeah it's so fucking well choreographed it's and beautiful. it's like it's crazy and they're all like visceral and, and every time peter has a kind of upswing mm-hmm. because so much of peter's life is down swing yes yeah. Whenever, when Peter, like, is in his element, having a moment, uh-huh. and succeeding, you feel his victory. Yeah. And you're there with him. Yeah, no, Spider-Man's great. greatest power is that he's a kid. Yeah. It's his best, it's the best part about Spider-Man. Like, yeah. that's why Tom Holland works so well, because he, yeah, 
feels like a child doing that. Yeah. Like, yeah. That feels like a kid. That's why Miles Morales' work so well. Yes. Like, mm. that's a fucking mm. teenager, dude. They're, they have no idea what they're fucking doing. What, what I think would be all... Awesome. They're rolling with the punches, sure, but like... Yeah. They don't fucking know. They have no clue. Mm. So can we, okay, so can we talk about the ha- mid credit and I was saying after the end, but do you want to should we let's just jump get into it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, so I'm gonna say this real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> since they since they first explained my Mysterio, Mysterio uh, being from Earth A thirty eight. Um Earth three thirty eight. Two things popped in my head, right? One, he's lying. Yes. Two, he's lying. It's but it's true. He's lying in that he's, it's he's lying in that he's lying in this world, that he's a Mysterio who has Doctor Strange's powers and then took the Time Stone, right? But there actually is, there actually is a Mysterio that has that power, that in actually, a different yeah. Parallel universe. So that would mean that that's Gwen, that's Gwen, that's Spider Gwen's Mysterio. Yes, Spider Gwen's Mysterio is is their Doctor Strange. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm on board for that. So if that's so since that's true, and I was like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a line and it's truth. And I'm like, wait, when they have to connect to the scrolls in some way? In my head, because then that's how you connect. Which they get to. Sorry, get in. Which they did get to. They got to. In the mid, in the mid credit. Mm-hmm. No, that's end credit. I'm sorry. Mid credit is the amazing crap. Fuck, dude. Oh yeah. my god, so good. So happy. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, before you get to end credit, I want to say I like the way the movie starts. The in memoriam thing where it's a shitty. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> shitty, <laughs> fucking terrible, yes. fucking uh, Shutterstock, Shutterstock watermarks. <laughs> okay, we will come back to that. Uh, yeah. we'll come back to uh, that. Let's now say the kids jump into the future, man. Yeah, uh, they made him all repeat. He's hot now. Um, <laughs> okay. ooh, that's hot. Uh, so Jay Jonah. Okay, so oh, let's just get to my it. God, fucking that blew my. <laughs> I was I, ruined. Yeah, I, 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 ruined. I wasn't. I'll be real. I wasn't expecting that. Really? Like, yeah. That, oh man, that's jumping out of my seat. Like, And it works perfectly. Oh, see, there's no one else. There's no one else in this world who can play J. Jonah I was, like J.K. Simmons, man. I was out with, with some people uh-huh. watching it. And when it happened, yeah. immediately, a- immediately after that scene, yeah. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I turned and I said, I don't know why they decided to take Jonah so much older this time. <laughs> and they then said, "Cause it's it's, it's old. He's it's older, older now. now. Yeah. It's, 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 it's been twenty old. years. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing it from a radio thing, from a podcast thing, obviously. In in my head, J.K. Yeah. Simmons is eternally. Yeah. They play it off like the Spider-Man PS4 game does, where he's like. An Alex Jones weird conspiracy yeah. style, yeah, and mm-hmm. and and also that clearly the next Spider Man is going to be dealing with fake news, yeah, even more directly, yeah, oh, like yeah. this idea of mm-hmm. where man do we, they how do drop we so many like fucking bombs on you and so fast, yeah, um, yeah, the, he's a villain now. They reveal his identity. <laughs> he's a murderer, yep. <laughs> like straight yeah. up. Um, and J. Jonah Jameson, who cannot have been played any other way. Nope. It's super ballsy, man, and like, it's just so much at once. Fuck. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a movie where it's like, it's pretty, it's playing it pretty safe, mm. and then they finally throw the sink at you, like, at the end. Mm. And it's great. It makes me want to watch the, the, what next movie way more than <laughs> when yeah. I watched this one. Yeah. So then, the after credit. Mm-hmm. The scrolls are around. Scrolls yeah. are around, and they're around because they're preparing for something that uh, uh, Mr. Cage is working on. No, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fury is. Mr. Working Fury on. is working on yeah. a certain a certain conflict that might that will arise. Uh, uh-huh. So sword. Then. Sword. Sword. A conflict that has to be kept a, a secret. A secret. And hidden from the public eye. Public eye. So they're going to do like also a, in different dimensions. A weird version of Scroll Wars, then. Of Secret Wars. Secret, Secret Wars. Wars. That's what it seems like. Like, like if you're gonna introduce scrolls, do it. Yeah, you might you might as well. You have them here. Yeah. Which means that you're gonna have to have them um, symbiote in there. 
for Spider Man. Because Are they gonna do Venom for three? That's what I'm saying. I, I keep forgetting I didn't watch the Venom movie. I did. It Don't. Was, yeah. yeah. Don't. Yeah. No, it was. I mean, I you know honestly, towards the end, I couldn't tell the difference between uh, Riot and Venom. Yeah, it like, is. You watched it? They look the same. Yeah. Okay, I never watched it. It's don't. It's so bad. It's embarrassing. It's Riot's in it. It the, the thing I know, is, but it's not even that. It's like we've watched terrible things. Yeah, we've done that fair share. Yeah, but this was just like I was embarrassed for the people there. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, I felt bad for the actors. It came across. I mean, I guess it came across like some, like Ed. I mean, you know, Ed Hardy was trying his best. He sure was. He was trying his, his all. <laughs> giving it his all. But it wasn't. I don't think it was enough. I heard he kisses that venom super good. Yeah, they make out, the and, she then venom, you, yeah. and then you think, oh, is is he gonna is he gonna fuck that slime? Yeah. And then it turns out his girlfriend's on it. We're supposed to be. What sucks because then they're trying to reference she venom. Yeah. But it's not done in a... Because it's like... It's oh, wow, so they're just trying to throw the sink at you the entire time? Like, yeah. They're yeah. literally seeing what sticks. Yeah. 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 It, and a lot of it doesn't. And it's also like, now you have to have... Now, if you try to see it, like, linear-wise, this event, this event, this event, uh-huh. and you try to connect it, it's like, this is stupid. It is very stupid. Rather yeah. than... It's clear they just want you to react, oh, you remember She-Venom? Oh, you remember Riot? Oh, you remember this one move Venom did? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me say one last thing about, uh-huh. uh, the, home, the Far From Home movie. Yeah. Um, so thematically, the movie talks a lot about Tony Stark, uh, and, like, everyone's reaction to Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. Yes. Uh, the, the shitty thing, memoriam mm-hmm. at the beginning. Yeah. The fact that his mural is up everywhere because he's a global hero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he died a hero. Uh-huh. Do you think that that in any way is Marvel and Sony both also asking that question that Peter Parker's asking? Can they make us a lot of more money? Can Peter Parker? Can you be the, the new Iron Man? The companies, like the in in like a meta text, like the actual directors working on it. Uh, let's. Say, I'll believe the directors. I'll say from like an artistic standpoint. I don't like, believe a faceless company is gonna. Like, like <laughs> I think I think that I think they're asking will they're they make asking, as much money. Will Will Peter Parker be the new Iron Man? Uh, like, will he be the leader? Will he be the new leader? Will he be the no. well? Will he be the new leader? Brackets. Will he be the next thing that makes a fuck ton of money? That that. Well, yeah. Leader, no. Yeah. It's Spider Man. If he's a leader, Spider Man's the most popular thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Money. Yeah. I don't. I'm not to say no on leader. I don't think because if he because him being a leader defeats the purpose of why spider-man is adored let me mm-hmm. let me put it this way instead of just money and pop do you think that he the character is going to replace replace iron man in the, iron man in the eyes of the fans in the eyes of, of the, the marvel fans and the artists yeah, oh, marvel that's, see i think that's what that's they, what i think they yeah, want that's I think a uh, very much more interesting question mm. because they set him up to be tony's son in all but name yeah. He's not going to be the leader. There's no way. He he's, demonstrably isn't going to be the leader. He's, there's The but, way they're playing their his character, there's no... But I think that they definitely want to continue It's to weird. Play. Who would be the leader? Because it's like... Captain it's, Marvel. It's, it's... Yeah, yeah. I guess, I mean, but... I mean, we're just another planet to her. And yeah. You can't relate to Superman. Yeah. I don't think she can be the, the leader, man. I think if it... Are we talking about an Avengers situation? No, I mean, like, let's... Yeah, an Avengers situation. Yes. They all have to team up and all that, right? She's the leader if it's an Avengers situation. I no, I think she's a striker if anything. She's the she's the <laughs> she's the problem solver they call in. Because uh, you need someone char- like she's Superman. Well, then, here's the thing: you need someone incredibly charismatic on like Tony Stark's level. Yeah, uh, and that is something they did not do for a character. Um, no, she's very yeah. direct. So, so who do you get? Well, it who's left? Be, it cannot. Peter Quill. Uh, no. no, no, because of who his personality Doctor is. Strange, Thor, no. Thor doesn't want no. that. I, I, you know what? I honestly Valkyrie? think we'll see how Valkyrie and Lady Thor are played. I'm, I'm about it. Yeah, yeah. or because I already like Valkyrie. I like, <sighs> I like cool. a drinker. That's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> so. I was gonna say because the other two, uh, White Wolf and well, they're not calling him that. Not uh, calling fucking him. Winter Soldier and and. Yeah. The T to be new Captain, Captain America. America, which we'll see. They're they fine, but I don't yeah. think they have the same presence. Yeah. 
But again, we'll, I mm-hmm. guess we'll just have to like wait and see. Yeah, this is a waiting game. Yeah, it really is. All right, anything else? Uh, no, yeah, anything else from uh, Far From Far Home? Far From Home? Um, I mean, it's tough because I'm like, you have this new increase of Spider-Man movies. Like, yeah. it's really cool. I guess, like, yeah, like you said, like, it's kind of like, what exactly... It's like, we have, what's the future of Spider-Man? I mean, we have this surge, but then, like, we had a surge last time, then there was nothing. Yeah. So then what's, like, Spider-Man's thing? Is he going to be, like, another surge? Or are they, gonna, like, going to milk it out? Or I mean, I certainly hope that, like... Well, so he's contracted definitely for a third. Yeah. yeah. And he's definitely going to show up in the Avengers movie that comes in phase five. He'll be in five. the second. He'll be in the second Avengers movie. Oh no! I'm sorry. That it's that'll be like the fourth, technically, but fifth. Uh, oh, that's right. I always forget Civil War exists. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Avengers one, two. Avengers, uh, Avengers Civil, uh, not Civil War. Fucking Age of Avengers, Ultron. Age of Ultron. God then, damn it! Civil War is the good one. <laughs> then there's uh, Avengers. Winter. There's well, Captain America: Winter Soldier is a sneaky one. That's the one that connects, like, uh, after Age of Yeah, Ultron. but it's not Avengers. So, like, well, it's after Civil War, and then... Uh, so I guess that would be, like, a point five. Yeah, like, and then after one. that You know, is, straight up, for just clarity's sake, let's just make it it has the Avengers name in it. Yeah. Because Civil War can be an Avengers movie, but that's not an Avengers movie. And then the third one was Avengers... Uh-huh. Um, fucking Thanos snap. And then yeah, Infinity the second War. one was... Infinity War yeah. and then Endgame. Yeah, so it's then four, Endgame. So four, four Avengers movies. So the fifth... Yeah, fuck, dude. Uh, so, I think Spider-Man has until the fifth movie. No, I agree. Because, no, but I mean, like, I don't think he's going to be in it after. Like, I think, see, here's the, th- here's the thing, you know, I said Spider-Man's greatest power is him being a kid. Yes. Tom Holland's got a clock, dude. Like, there is only... He's just a grown-up. He looks guy. super young. Like, yeah. he can, and he's an incredible actor. Yeah. But, like, there's going to be a point where you're... He's going to be stuck in a believe He's just, anyway. well, he's good, me they're probably going to do the t- the college pp oh you think you think they'll keep it up i think as long as they can keep tom holland here's when up we, do we Ooh, get watch. our full i do new reboot of everything no no, no. never uh here's well what i say what do you say i don't know we'll be old when it happens because well, <laughs> marvel I think has, it's gonna happen marvel has plans new 52 marvel has plans <laughs> marvel oh for dc or no marvel, for marvel, marvel has plans to carry out we didn't even t- touch on this but oh, like yeah, things san that, diego comic-con shit which is the fucking fantastic four and x-men blade blade the best one by far etc cetera, etc cetera. but yeah. The X Men is going to be both TV and movies. It turns out. Yeah. So this is so this new phase is I think someone put it it's a mini phase and I think they're right. I think this is this I is think, a recalibrating period. Yeah. And then because because we're all still because then the next with well, the phase after is going to be Something I think big. the real thing. This is all set up. Quote unquote real thing. I mean like it's going to be the bigger phase four is. Setting the groundwork for something new now. For multiverse shit. Yeah. Literally. And, you know... Did you the, hear that they're playing Doctor Strange's movie off like a horror movie? It's a horror movie in the multiverse, yeah. and it's probably going to be the door in for all the mutants. Which is rad. I'm oh, sorry, but go ahead. I just wanted to... That'd be interesting. Um, hmm. No, I, I, all I'm gonna say is that, like, they've got plans for movies until the 2030s. Yeah. That's so fucking... They've got plans till the twenty thirties, and that's going to be that's going to be a shared continuity with films uh-huh. going back to two thousand and eight. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be something that is so. And also, consider this: basically every Marvel property so far in the MCU has been financially dynamite. Yeah, most of them are critically praised. Uh. Uh-huh. It has too much momentum to stop in my eyes right now. Right now, yeah. In my eyes... I'm saying when we hit that 10-year mark. We've already hit that 10-year no, mark. No, I mean uh, that, that, that... The 20-year mark. The 20-30 mark. mark, yeah, the 20-year mark. Reboot time. Everything's going to change, and I'll be old, and I'll <laughs> die before... I kind of like the... I don't know. I'm kind of tickled by the hypothetical of how long can they keep the plate spinning? Until these people die. 
well, yeah. <laughs> How long can they keep it spinning? Like, can can Marvel sustain? As long as Disney has its monopoly, man. The mm-hmm. big, the big gloved hand over. Mm-hmm. Can it sustain it? And like, could I potentially retire and still see? Movies that are considered canonical to a continuous mm. thing that have has gone on since I was in high yeah. school. Yeah. yeah. That'd be Is neat. it going the way of comic books? Are we go well I think that that's was my thought. That's undoubtable. Yeah. I think we're already here. I think so you know, I think yeah. we're already here. Well like for the comic books. I was gonna say it's been a, it's been a long time since I had this conversation in college. Um I guess I had a conversation once where someone talked about why they liked reading uh, manga more than like Japanese ma- like manga and manhwa uh, more than comics because yeah. uh-huh. it's easier to go one do you start a volume one and you have a single author or like a collab with an author and artist yeah. yeah right so and I, I I just explained that you know we talked about before superheroes are essentially and we treat them at least in the US we treat them like there are mythology mm-hmm. they're yeah. fables they're all fa- there are fables now yeah, yeah. But again, because it's one of those things where, like, you're so it's so part of our lives, you kind of forget that's their purpose. It's like mm. there are mythology, like, and they're the modern mythos. Yeah, and to quote like Damon Albarn, it's like you know they're gonna be the same age because we drew them that way. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this is just the the MCU is going to be a, a iteration. Mm-hmm. It's as it's as it's that's uh, a fucking English major. Shit. It's as it's as meaningful as the Bad Vegeta is yeah. as to the Grunf. Yeah. Like there are two versions of yeah. the same. Yeah, you like that? You like that? <laughs> the fuck was that? It's two versions it's of nerd talking is what yeah. you're hearing. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's two versions of an official canonical view of mythological creatures that are told slightly different yes. over a like a an established history. Mm-hmm. They take it a little bit differently depending yeah. who's telling the story. Yeah. But that shit is so burned into the culture. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if David tells the story one way and yeah. Michael tells the story another way. Like, mm-hmm. the shit mm-hmm. is up here yeah. in no. all of us. Yeah. It's funny enough because I think that that actually would explain why people who are used to reading Volume 1 in their culture and used to having only one author, reading, uh, reading our interpretation of characters where... It, we literally have skeletons of like this is what this character would do and this is this character's backstory. Yeah. Now you write around it, and then it's like, oh, I can read this because this reflects this reflects the culture. This is like America. This is what America's view on characters are. So I can see why there was that boom for a while in the eighties and nineties to obsess over like the new Marvel and like the new, you have these new yeah. Image comics yeah. coming out. So yeah. When you had Spawn and, and the X Force. Yeah. So I can also see why it's refreshing yeah. as well. For us to read a volume one and have a consistent author and a consistent vision. No, we did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Cool. We're good? Yeah. All right. Uh, what else, Chris? Uh, what are, I just want my new Ant Man movie. I, that's all. I want him to be in everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he's I cool. Because yeah. I love him. Well, <laughs> he'll get a good send off with the Wasp. Yeah. yeah. And his old daughter. Like when he got yeah, really tiny daughter. and had sex. Sure did. Yeah. Sure did. Remember you got really tiny? Yeah, man. I remember. Yeah, man. Yeah. We were all there. Yeah, man. I want the cage to show <laughs> Yeah. Well, they're bringing back Daredevil. Yeah. That's established. Yeah. And so that I'm oh. happy that that continuity's not getting thrown away. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy for that shit. Are you going to show Daredevil banging Squirrel Girl? No, no. Right. Who cares about any of that That's shit? That's canon. Though? Who cares? Who fucking... Who, who gives a flying fuck about any of these... But it also means... Because Blade... Is coming. Yeah. Blade it is coming. Oh, yeah. Dude, they could not have done better casting. No, he kills yeah. it. He kills like, it that's. It's so fucking perfect. Yeah. Some motherfuckers always try to ice skate uphill. That, like, it's gotta be in there, dude. There's no. Please. That's a cultural <laughs> touchdown. And oh, yeah. I think that has to be. <laughs> really, really shifted our view. Yeah. Yeah, I just it's... want him to come out of a sewer yeah. and be like, you know, we have a vampire problem. Why aren't you guys helping with the vampire problem? <laughs> Shouldn't he, like, meet Daredevil, presumably? Like, I feel yeah. like they're. And be like, why aren't you helping with the vampire problem? Yeah. I'm Catholic. I don't believe in vampires. <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore, they son. To, they have to CGI his eyes opening. Like, uh, what is he I, I have that gif on, like, 
<laughs> Not a lot. It's just whenever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. We did it. We did our Marvel talk. Good. All right. Um, what else? What else? Uh, fucking anything. Yeah, it's been a lot of prepping, man. Um, That's fine. Yeah, it's cool. It's been a lot of just getting ready. I'll have stories to tell when I get back from Evo, because, like... For sure. Yeah. That'll be the oh. shit. Because you finished Pun Pun, because we did talk about oh, it. Oh, shit. I did finish Pun Pun. Well, I fucking didn't. Nobody right. talk about it. All right. I want to talk about it. Um, but, do you, okay, I will ask, do you at least see why I gushed about it so oh, much? Oh, yeah. No, I get it. I get yeah. it. No, I said it was good. Like, before. Yeah. And, and it's a good ending, too. Yeah. Um, I won't say much about what I think the overall themes are. Okay. Because right? I'm going to let Ian finish it. Yeah. Okay. And we can do a huge spoiler thing. Okay. Because I've already talked, I've, me and you had the long conversation about what I thought. Yeah. Of how I interpreted a lot of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just so glad everyone's like, oh, that's the worst one. Uh, yeah, so Ian will finish it. It's, All right. hey, two thumbs way up. Two hey. thumbs go way oh, yeah. up. <laughs> that's a <idea>. <laughs> um, so, uh, that's, that's it for me, man. You go. You take this. Alrighty. Uh, I uh, just finished There There by um, uh, Thomas Orange. Okay. Right. Um, so good dude Mm -hmm. it's uh it was a bestseller it was nominated for a nobel uh oh i didn't know nice man so fucking good guys uh just brief i'll talk about it a little bit you know just kind of kind of get people out excited about it yeah because i know nothing about this book uh so uh tommy orange is um tommy orange tommy orange tommy orange tommy orange Orange. timothy is that his like that's and what he publishes on. Okay, I was about to say, are you just buddies, buddies with him? Publishes a mini banana. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tommy Orange, uh, his this is his first work, and honestly, guys, I just finished it two days ago, and I yeah. I can't wait for his next fucking book. It's so okay. good. Uh, he's a he's a native writer from Oakland. Okay. Hmm. Um, and so his book is set in Oakland, and gotcha. it's just about um, it's uh, episodic. Okay. And the whole thing is broken up into little chapters that are all from each character's kind of perspective. Gotcha. And we cycle through about eight uh-huh. people. Um, and the story kind of ta- jumps around in time, but it more or less takes place in fall, leading up to a powwow that's going to happen in, in Oakland. Yeah. And uh, essentially you get to know these characters really well including some of them who were little kids who were a part of the um alcatraz protests in the late 60s where uh, Mm. a bunch of native native people occupied alcatraz to try and reclaim land um Mm. it didn't work uh uh it's definitely tricky because if you have an american indian reserve it's like it's not official american Soil, that's true. But the federal government can yeah. jump in at any, at just about at any point. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah, did. Yeah, that won't stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. um, so, but anyway, so so um, the book then kind of follows lar- I'd say largely people between the ages of eighteen to their late forties, uh-huh. and one one character in particular named Octavo. Mm-hmm. Um, Gosh, he's just got a rough go of it. You and you start to sympathize yeah, with him. Rough go. He's 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 someone we might have known growing up. Like okay. rough side of town mm-hmm. says fuck too much because yeah. you know yeah. Um, and but. then and then like halfway through, you realize that people don't look at him weird because he's native. People keep that he keeps referencing people look at him weird is because he has fetal alcohol syndrome. So his uh. face is kind of weird. Um. And you then find out that his friends, his friends, he's in a bad crowd, guys, yeah. uh, are going to, uh, they've got their hands on a 3D printer, okay. and they want to use it to print plastic guns so that they can sneak into the powwow and rob everyone. Yeah. And that's kind of what the story is. That's the tension of the story. Okay. There's a bunch of young men, and they have guns that will not be detectable, and they are going to rob ah. everyone at this powwow. Gotcha. Mm. Uh, but yeah, book's good. It's it's really uh, thoughtful, moving. It's very funny. Okay. Uh, there's another uh, there's another character called Ed Edmund who's super mm. relatable. Yeah. Uh, so relatable, you guys. <laughs> 
He just speaks in my soul. He really, he's really, you know, um, and I, I, I don't know. I think one of the big things that everyone's talking about, and I agree, is, is mm. really cool, is uh, the book kind of deals with native people not as, like, fairy creatures they're they're not like reserve they're not put off in nature yeah these people yeah. are like city people yeah and they uh, like live online and mm-hmm. they like you know text it's not a rural they're town, not rural folks uh, yeah secluded yeah. for it's, everything else it's not like that episode of malcolm in the middle where he gets to he takes the totem pole and he thinks like <laughs> It's talking to him, and then that yeah. random guy. Written, the it's random. Like, why'd guy, you steal my totem pole? Man, my kids and I made this in the in the winter. Why'd you steal it? <laughs> but no, it's speaking to me, man. You you write it right. The the wolf spirits, man. Fuck you. <laughs> you know this shit? I made this in the summer. I'm an auto shop mechanic. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, I have to run with the wolves or fly with the eagle. Oh, can... Man, we made that totem pole over a weekend as a fun family. <laughs> That show's underrated, man. That show's incredibly <laughs> underrated. That show was, like, ahead of its time, man. <laughs> um, but, no, I, I dig it a lot. It says a lot of cool stuff, and, and like, the people are super relatable, and it, it talks about, like, uh, like where do I belong stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, deeper stuff. But also, I, I just dig that, like, he makes, he, in the text, makes a point to say repeatedly, like, nah, we live in the city... I've never been to the forest before. Yeah. Like, I don't have, like, a magical inkling where it's <laughs> like, I, I can feel the doves! <laughs> yeah. um, um, you ever see a picture of the... I'm sorry, real quick. You ever seen a picture of that blonde hair, blue-eyed girl and she's having, like, the giant headdress? Yeah. And it says when you find out... What was it? You find out you're 0. 0.1... 1, 15% percent yeah. uh, patchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Dude, it's it's a great book, and like mm-hmm. I said, I don't I don't have any of the jokes on hand, but it is also a very fucking funny book. Gotcha. Uh, so I'm please, not trying to ignore you. I'm trying to find something no, 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 that it's I'll right. announced later. Please read there, there when you can. Mm. Um, I also just uh, a comic that I think I recommended earlier called. Uh no, not right now. Uh, it's called um, Recon Strong. Okay. Uh, which was a, a was a book of artists and writers from Puerto Rico, and the book all the proceeds went to reconstruction. Okay. Uh, mm. For the island, uh, that just won an Eisner Award. Oh, sweet! So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, tight guys. If uh, so, if you didn't check it out before, uh, go check out that book. It's independently published. Mm-hmm. Um, some real uh, DC also had put out a book about uh, about Puerto Rico for reconstruction purposes. Okay. It's a valiant effort, uh, but <laughs> I, not to say it's bad. It's also uh, good, but it's not as good as 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 Reconstruct. Okay. It's real. That's a really good comic. Gotcha. Uh, short stories and poems and, and things like that. Oh, nice. Um, I know. I just remember something I did. Oh, okay. you, you can go on your oh and then briefly uh, about we were talking about the legal system in Japan. Yeah. Uh, there's a movie called uh, Accusation, which I really like. Yeah. Have you ever heard of this? this no. One? no. So the short version is, it's really grim, dude. It's like a, a middle it's school. It's crazy. The Japanese it's, legal system is fucked up, dude. Draconian. Like, it's so fucked up. Yeah. Draconian shit they got going on, man. It, the short Why f- would you be in court if you weren't guilty? Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. they legit. I think they say shit like that. No, too. they do. They, they say do. it all over the place, dude. That's the quote that happens all the time in any in any like Japanese legal system thing. I because say. if it fawns your reputation, you're basically fucked. Yeah, I mean, if people think it's true, yeah, then it's true, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. it's about a it's middle crazy. a middle school teacher who. Um, I'm going to mess this up slightly, but the general gist of it is, she. The first, like, hour of the movie is just a middle school teacher talking to her students, Mm -hmm. confessing, like, having a breakdown in front of these middle school Mm -hmm. students saying, like, my daughter just died, Uh and someone in this room is responsible. Um, At which point she goes on this very long conversation Uh about how her husband was a scientist who was working on AIDS research because he himself had HIV. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, that's really noble, and married him and had a child with her. <laughs> and then they had a child who was HIV positive. Uh-huh. 
and it, and uh, it turns out somehow some of the other kids found out that about her, uh-huh. and they bullied her for it. Oh, okay. And then she got pushed in a pool and fucking died. And then she find out, and then the mother found out that it was one of her, her own students who did that. Did she pull out a gun? No, she explains that she's put her own blood in their food that they've just finished eating. Wow. Um, all right, zero. All right, we went from zero to a hundred. Right. right there. <laughs> and then, like, such the, a Japanese like right? thing that I've seen. And then the yeah. movie gets worse from there. <laughs> Oh man! Um, it was so intense. It yeah. was so intense the whole time, but it was really good. Oh, um, I see. Wait, so where's the legal system coming? Oh well, uh, it turns out uh, that due to the legal system, the the culprits who murdered her daughter aren't culpable mm. because they're too young. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a tricky one. Yeah. So technically, they can't be tried. Yeah. Mm. And so just like fucking nothing happens. Yes. Yeah. Nothing God, happened. God, sucks to suck. Sucks. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Children can't be held in, in court. Yeah. And so she did that, and then, like, the I'm not going to explain the whole movie. Yeah. One of the, the bully kid, like, loses his fucking mind and becomes obsessed with the idea that I drank AIDS and now I'm dirty. And so he, like, scrubs his skin until he oh, bleeds yeah. and... He's in his he room, was... and he's bleached every surface in his room. Yeah. And he just won't... He won't come out. He stops going to school. Yeah. And then his mother finds just, like, this nightmarish, sterile space. Uh-huh. And he's, like, just a raw, rubbed raw little boy and just, like... any anyway, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a good movie. <laughs> it's really... It's really wow. uh, troubling. There's more stuff in the legal system that comes later. Okay. But yeah. That one. Whew. Uh, also, uh, should I just jump into stuff I'm looking forward to? Uh, no, hang on, before we get there, because yeah. I do remember what I did. Um, I read a shit ton of short stories, a um, cool. bunch of horror ones, because I finally went through my ghost box. Nice. So I had, uh, I think there's only one story I didn't read. Mm. Um, what to say, what to say. Go buy the ghost box every year it comes out. They're amazing. There's some really good fucking stories with it. Have you gone through your... Uh, I did, in fact. I really enjoyed... Well, you had... Yeah, I gave you Ghost Box 2, right? I got 2, and 3 comes out this year, yeah? Comes out October. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, great writing. Yeah, it's some of the, some really good shit. What and was it? What were some of the standout stories for you? The easy one ABCs. for me is the... Yeah, I was about to say, the Harlan Ellison one is, like, the easy. Harlan Ellison's always easy. Yeah. Because <laughs> Harlan Ellison God, is... I wish I remember the Golem entry. Dude, that so, one was strong. Because that's, like, a sentence... And it's funny. Like, it's it's so fucking strong. Uh, yeah, I feel like that one is the one that's coming to mind. But uh-huh. I did discover... There's, like, a Southern Gothic one in there, and that... that Which one? Oh, fuck. Uh, I, I'm struggling Was to it the worker one? The yeah. one? Yeah, because yeah. I really dug that one. Yeah. Um, it's a new iteration of the zombie story, but a little bit more about, like, the workers themselves rather than uh, just creating a creature. Yeah. Uh, what was another one? The lady turning into a fish. Yeah, man. Was good. Hmm. Was good. That you know what? Just whenever you see the ghost box, yeah, it's from he gets seen. Yeah. It's limited press, so you know. Yeah, yeah, and they're getting more and more. They're people are buying it more and more now. Yeah. Because yeah. it used to be pretty easy to get the first one. Now, like I think the Ultimate American police sold out. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to find the first one after you gave me the second. And I... Yeah. No. Yeah, the reason I gave you this thing is because I couldn't find the first one. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I want to check it out. Um, uh. I mean, because I I have gone to like more books with short stories in them. Because mm-hmm. I, I remember like I read um, Smoky Mirrors by Neil Gaiman. Yeah, that excellent. Was, that was a big read. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. There's some crazy ass. There's some crazy ass short stories in yeah. there. Oh, yeah, I like the typewriter one. Yeah, guys yeah, like that. Cool. Smoking Mirrors. Does that have chivalry in it? Yes, that was Shiver. I really love Shiver. That was really good. It's a great The virus one was like, it got really intense. Jarring. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's when um, when a scientist um, from Saudi Arabia finds finds a way to, to cure um, tumors in pank- in our pancreas. Okay. So, but the, the, there's a catch to the treatment where if you take it, it does um, change your gender. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So by the end of it, you got a point where he dies. He loses. The, he loses the rights to the patent, 
So people start selling this this medication. So now people are weaponizing it and forcing people to change gender. Ah, oh, except for a gen- so a gender dysphoria. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you remember? There there was one he did about um... Snow White. Yes. I didn't want Snow. That was the end. That was the last one. Oh, okay. I've read that one. Yeah. I read so I read that outside this. One. There's, yeah. an, there's a Neil Gaiman short story. I can't quite remember the name of it, but I think it might be called like Centerfold or something. Centerfold. Which one? It's it's one about a guy who like like had classic print pornography mm. but there is one piece of porn that he makes a point to say like this is printed before i was born yeah like the woman in this page is probably impossibly old mm. and he's like uh i went into becoming a photographer just so i could take a picture of a woman that beautiful da, 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 da. Oh, okay. and he becomes like obsessed with Mm-hmm. I have to find her. Yeah. And it's and he like basically just loses his shit trying to find this yeah. unattainable nineteen mm-hmm. seventies girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Alright, that's that was the only thing. Okay. Yeah, oh, sure. cool. Let's get you. What are you looking forward to, man? I looking forward to well in Evo. I mean that's Evo. Evo. It's gonna be a one. I mean I'm looking forward to announcements and also trying uh, new games that new games because they have a lot of indie developers there and a lot yes. of companies you get to try out games and you also get you can even just enter some that you want that you can on the website oh that's true that we like side tournaments that you can just put a buck in for some a buck or five dollars pure poverty like mm. low like the lowest you can but um yeah i'm looking forward to that um river city girls is river gonna, city girls i don't know uh, when that comes out uh, oh my god that I'm, game looks amazing yeah uh next week as of this you, recording, to beat him up, where he plays as high school bully, as Japanese high school bully girls. Oh yeah, in River <laughs> City, sick ass combos. The original River City, your boyfriend, you're, you know, like a lot of beat ups, you, you go to save the girl. Yeah. yeah. Now you save them. Yeah. Okay. So you get boy, fucking kidnapped off the street. Boyfriends get kidnapped off the street, and now you have to save them. Yeah. One has got a bat. It looks it's great. Cool. Okay. It looks cool. Um, well, I was going to say, um, as of this recording next week, Metal Wolf Chaos XD yeah, comes out. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, the yeah, most American yeah, game yeah, ever yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael! I, I'm not going to buy the physical copy from GameStop because Special Reserve Games has been saying they're going to make one. Yeah, nice. And I want that one. I'll get that one. <laughs> I'll get that one, too. Yeah. You, you have to make an exception. Yeah. But please, like anyone that, that's listening, please try to consider it. Mm. Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah, it must have taken so much fucking effort to get this game like, oh, man. Out. officially out here. <laughs> Same people who made Dark Souls <laughs> and Bloodborne. Yeah, that's right. That's but right. It didn't come out because nine eleven. Well, you know. Yes, what it is? and it's very obvious <laughs> that they shouldn't. That it wasn't a good idea to release it during nine eleven. Good taste. Yeah. yeah. It, Chris, we're gonna have to party. I know we're gonna party. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, fucking Metal Gear Chaos is rad. Yeah. Um, yes. What else? What else, man? Um, besides that, um, there's, there's like some books I'm going through, um, Here, There, and Everywhere by Jeff Emmerich. That's the, oh, I've heard good things about it. Yeah, that's basically the autobiography by the guy who recorded for the Beatles, Revolver, uh, mm. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club's band. It's basically his perspective on, you know, all the relationships and, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Um, it was crazy how his, the last person he, re- who he recorded with before he passed, uh, did the forward. Which was Elvis Costello, wow, mm. um, who did a lot of his big albums. So it yes. was really cool to see. Um, it was crazy hearing about M, hit being called Emmy One Records before Abbey Road Records. Yeah. He was nineteen when they did Revolver, when That's they cool. did Helter Skelter, when they did Revolution. Yeah, what were you doing? When they did, he was nineteen. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny because he was an assistant <laughs> to a guy who left Can I- to because he got a bigger pay. Like basically, he got offered a bigger paycheck. Yeah. If he recorded with this one indie band called Pink Floyd, <laughs> and he he went off to record Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall, wow, with them. So Jeff was stuck at Abbey Road, stuck with the Beatles. Yeah. Uh. So they, so the guy, literally big fat guy behind a counter in a big cigar in the office, like man, you know what, kid, get your chance, <laughs> take it. Wow. But it's really it's really cool to see, and I I really recommend that book if you just want to see that per, that engineer perspective, yeah. which I do think is kind of neglected some of the time mm-hmm. yeah it's becoming more and more prevalent nowadays which is awesome because we're like finally getting to a point of like no who are the people that actually wrote yeah the songs where yeah. does it all come yeah. together yeah so i'm looking forward to finishing that um stuff that's coming out um 
yeah, it was River City, The Metal Chaos. Um, mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of stuff coming out. Um, yeah, they were just probably not. Re- they were just on top yeah, of our head. Just not. I'm just going through the stuff I already have. Um, Katana, one of movies. Yeah. Katana Gotri is going to... What the fuck is that? Yeah. Like in the wild? Oh. <laughs> I've, I think I saw one in the, by the river once. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, I, the river sound. Yeah, but I guess just Evo is what I'm looking for. Ever seen a moose kissing a goose? Um, down see, by the bay, down by the too. bay, <laughs> where the wild red <laughs> grows. Um, what? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Are you done? No, no. That that's it. I'm just looking forward to <laughs> Evo and like um, yeah. just seeing like all the new stuff they're gonna show there. Yeah. Um. Same Evo. Evo. Uh, get first time gonna compete there. Hmm. Samurai Showdown. Mm-hmm. So that's nerve wracking because I haven't. I've done tournaments, but never, like, a big, like, official one. Sure. Uh, probably going to get fucking rocked. Mm-hmm. But we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'll have fun, and it'll be great. Um, what else am I looking forward to? Man. Man. I don't know. Are we going blank? Man. Is it even enough I mean, for you? I know. Is not even, like, I got to finish Judgment. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Katana Zero, my friend Pedro. I got I got shit to finish. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that'll be that. I'm good. Uh, I will say. Well, you know, you. Um, what are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to every time I die. Mm-hmm. Um, just because this this life is exhausting. No, there's a movie coming out called Every Time I Die. Oh, oh okay. Um, that's going to be. It's uh, people are saying that it's like very strange and abstracted. Okay. Mm-hmm. My understanding from what I've seen. Yes. You tell me you're not going to watch Hobbs and Shaw. You know what? I I don't know if I'm <laughs> gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a movie that fucking? Oh yeah, the Tarantino movie. I I gotta. I gotta Once watch, Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, I gotta, I'll watch that. Yeah. Cool. You really should. Everybody yeah. everybody is saying how good it is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and he's only gonna do one more. Yeah. So. Maybe. Maybe hey, we'll see. Hmm. Um, uh, every time I die is essentially like a man's relationship with a woman, mm-hmm. but he his soul is all the men in her life. So, wait, that that might say more about her than. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that is to say again, for, only from my understanding. Yeah. yeah. Um, he is both. Her husband and the man she is having an affair with. Yeah. Ooh. And the sheriff who catches, he catches her him. husband murdering oh, her Oh, so lover. even like adjacent? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. wow. That's more interesting. And that he keeps kind of like uh, all these zombies. All the men. Kind of resetting her, over and over again. And her oh. life share the same soul. Yeah. Okay. Is my understanding of what okay. I've seen so far. It's very strange. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's actually interesting. Uh, or, uh, the other one is going to be The Lighthouse. Uh, oh, someone was mentioning that. Which one's that? It's, uh, it's a new film starring uh, Robert Pattinson and William Defoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be... It's written and directed by the creator of The Vavitch. The Vavitch. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's shot in black and white. Yes. And I'm real excited, guys. Yeah. It's a good old fashioned, you know, sea monster story. The movie. Nice. And uh Why we go to movies. And it's it's perfectly set in like the eighteen twenties. Yeah. So, you know, you're gonna get some good New England dialect. Yeah. Heavy, heavy uh dialect. Bostonian. Oh, real heavy. Yeah. Real heavy. Like Goodwill hunting, they're all Saudis, they eat apples, they got math. Wicked smart. Um, <laughs> my wife used to fart all night. <laughs> Wicked smart. <laughs> she used to fart all night. <laughs> uh, he liked them. They woke up the dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, those are the things I'm excited about. Okay, cool. Uh, I will say one thing I'm excited, and I promised uh, them I would do this. Um, there's an event going on next Saturday. Yes. Uh, that's. Or I'm sorry, this Saturday. This coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Yes, because I'm not going to be here. Um, I'm trying to get the... Whatever this exact fucking date is. Yeah, the third. 
The third over in Santa Santa Ana at the El Centro Cultural de Mexico okay. um, in Santa Ana. Uh, it's a block party being, uh, well, I don't know if she's running, she's running the entire shindig, but she's definitely helping mm-hmm. and volunteering with all of it. Uh, our own Call Me Apple Spot, who hey. has featured her own stories on here, and Carissa, hey, nice. who has been on here. Um, delightful person and wonderful writer. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Um, is running the shindig, and it's a cultural uh, block party that it's also informative. There's going to be like slam poetry going on. It's going to be games, food, um, all helping out with also immigration, mm-hmm. um, people filling out their forms and all that to get... Oh, tight. I think I got to look into all this stuff. Um, but also people... God, how do I... I should have really... Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of cultural stuff. And it's basically the Vietnamese cultural heritage. Um, also working out with the Cultural Center de Mexico. Okay. Uh, over in Santa Ana. It's just going to be a really good time. Mm. Uh, anyone who's got a chance to go, go check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if it's being done by... If, it, if Call Me Off Spot's helping out, then you know... It's, it's going to be a be, full family event. Yeah, it's really going to be a shindig. Perfect. Yeah, it's open to all families. I think it starts at 1 p.m. Groovy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can check him out on Facebook. That's the OCYOP Block Party 2019. What is that? OCYOP Block Party 2019 ah. is mm-hmm. what that uh, is on Facebook. Hashtag We Grow OC. Um, again, at the El Centro Cultural de Mexico in Santa Ana. Good plug. Yes. Nice. No, I know. I'm going to send like three last. I was super bummed out when she asked me to go, and I was like, I'm going to be out of state, man. Yeah. And it's Evo. I've been buying tickets like uh, for a while. Uh, but Ian, you said you're probably gonna make it. I think I'll be able to swing by for a for little sure. Yeah, yeah. So nice, man. It's gonna be a good time if you can if you, you want to help out with uh, the charities they're helping mm-hmm. out with and do all the research. Mm-hmm. Um, it's gonna be a good time, man. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 it, right? That's, that's a good button. Right I think that's yeah. it. Good button. Yeah, blades oh. coming out. That's Blade. crazy, blades, guys. Is Blade. It's Blade. It's Blade. She's going to kill Blade. Duckula. Oh. Uh, it's going to be Blade. Here comes Blade. You think they're going to, like, they've already got a victory lap. Are they going to do Howard the Duck again? I think oh, so. Oh, yeah. And then it'll help Blade kill Duckula. Yeah! And then, yeah, and then, and then Duck Blade's going to be like, some motherfuckers always try to ice skate uphill. Oh, it's going to And be. then he's going to be like, yo, I'm going to steal that. And that's how he got the word. Uh, what a treat. What a treat. What a treat.